Hey guys, and welcome to another stream at the Art of War. Uh, this is a really cool matchup. We're featuring our brand newest member, Mr. John Lennon, not uh -oh. the Beatles guy. I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> uh, I'm featuring our undefeated Salamanders. They are currently 1 0. It's quite the hot streak. Versus John's Gene Stealer cult, who has never won. Either. They're 0 1. It's quite the cold streak. Yes. So, um, <laughs> should be a really good match. We're playing ITC mission number six. I think that's called Nexus Control. I could be totally off base. Um, there's five objectives and a kind of a cross pattern amongst the table. And then the bonus point is if you have a character controlling three of the objectives and three characters in different spots on the board, that should be really easy for John to do because the Gene Circle is just showing up all over the table like ninja people. Um, not so easy for me to do for the but I got some tricks. I got some plays. Um, before we get into all that though, let's have a word from our sponsors. We have a wonderful terrain sponsor, Big Bear 3D, who makes 3D printed custom terrain and cool gadgets like plasma guns, bolt pistols, bolters, all kinds of stuff. Um, we they have designed different competitive format tables. So there's a Nova Open table that I designed. There is an LBO table that Chris Black can design, a pro tabletop table that Richard Siegel designed. Um, you can get your tables done just like them. Um, with uh, You can get them built and painted complete to completion, or you can get them unbuilt on paint for your own little hobby project, whichever you prefer. Uh, then we also have Table War, one of our newest sponsors. They make beautiful mats. Uh, as you saw, Games Workshop just changed the board sizes for 9th edition. They are now confirmed to be 44 inches by 60 inches. So I'm sure Table War um, is going to adjust their mat sizes to accommodate that. But in the meantime, you can still use the ones we have. Always easier to go down and just shrink up. You can take down. That's what we'll probably be doing in the future. Um, what else do we have? We have Warped Fire Minis. One of our miniature sponsors, this is where we get all of our models from. They are a store here in Ocala, Florida. Basically, they have a really cool trading program where one, you'll get 15% off when you purchase them. Two, you can trade in whatever minis you have, just laying it in your shelves behind the curtains that no one's supposed to see. Whoops. Um, and trade them in. They'll give you value for store credit. If they're painted nicely too, you'll get bonus store credit. It's just awesome. The models that we all have sitting in our shelves are our spouses have been asking us for up for years. That is a great place to start. You can make your wife happy and you can get money for it. Two birds, one stone. Finally, our last sponsor, Obey Alliance, is an esports team company trying to get 40k involved in the world of esports. So basically what we're trying to do, one of our projects here, is to increase 40k viewership on our stream. So the more you guys support us, just clicking that follow button, clicking that subscribe button, and just eyeballs on the channel, that is ultimately going to indicate that we are ready to go to esports in the lives of Obey Alliance. Then we get real stuff like big boy sponsors like Gatorade and Coca-Cola, things like that. We get bigger tournaments, more prize support, more funding for better formats and streams. The world just is happy. So support us, help 40k grow. You can be part of the solution. So let's go on over to the overhead and uh find some best All right. So I won the or John won the role for attacker defender. He chose to go. He chose to be the attacker. Yep. Um, then I had the choice of uh, Dawn of War or Hammer and Anvil as my deployment styles. As you can see, I've gone Hammer and Anvil mostly because I don't want the only objective in my deployment zone to be in the middle. I want. I like playing against out of a corner, just digging my way out of it against Gene Stealer Cult. I think Salamander is an army that wants to kind of start up as a castle and expand outward as it's done. So. Let's go to the gimbal and I'll explain my deployment. So over here, we got the Centurions uh, on this ruin, along with the Chaplain and this Chimera's Lieutenant. Uh, we got five Intercessors here, nine Incursors here. The Incursors are strung out all the way in there, so that way they can be used as a self-sacrifice self unit for those Centurions to keep them from being shot. And that's why I put this Bike Captain here uh, as a character who can't shoot the centurions because he's going to be closer to john's army he's got those nine ridge runners that's scary back here we've got the scorpius um in this impulsor is two units of eliminators i got my 10 sniper scouts just chilling back here doing their thing like they do librarian over here hopefully this librarian does better than my old streams one from the old stream that was legendarily sad we got adrax the man the myth the legend and over here i've infiltrated a unit of five scouts and a unit of eliminators uh, a couple reasons for that, but the main thing is I needed something to be closer than my characters who are going to be body blocking the Centurions with self-sacrifice. And then of course over here, I put uh, five scouts and then five intercessors in that impulsor to kind of shore up the left side with the screens. John has a very intricate deployment. Let's go over that in great detail. 
We got a blip. We got a blip. We got a blip. We got a blip, 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 blip. Is there any thought process to this, John? What did you deploy? What did you yeah, do so, to all that? Uh, what I ended up deploying is um, three units of Ridge Runners, as well as the Goliath truck, uh, ten Aberrants, a whole mess of characters, and uh, one of the two Acolyte units. Uh, in addition to that, um, it really is just the whole mess of characters, actually. And then there's a few units of 10 Brood Brothers who are also underneath. Clips. Don't forget the eight Ridge Runners. I, I said the eight Ridge Runners. I'm yeah, sorry. They're not on the table. They're, they're not on the table. table. They're, they're off the edge. They'll be on the table very soon. I will be deploying them momentarily. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started then. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. So, oh. you're going yeah. first. Start of the battle round, I actually get to do something before you do your weird blip things. Ooh. I get to do my chaplain canicle. So I will start with the first one, plus one to hit, uh, which passes. I'm going to put that on my Scorpius. Mm -hmm. Then plus two to charge, which passes. Nice, uh, nice, nice. Right. Oh, yeah. Is he a recluse yark? He's the fancy, fancy, fancy master of sanctity. Okay. All that jazz. All right. Do I care enough to vex self sacrifice? Probably not. Like maybe. Like maybe. The sense are in one of armor, so you've covered. Yeah, that's fine. I think we'll we'll probably save that a turn since uh, I also have six of human pain for that one. As you should, as you should. Look at all these showing up the party. See that one. Bless. Okay. So let's go here. Um so I know that Nick can self sacrifice, but I also don't want to just abandon this flank and let him not defend the command points. Is very important to me. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna shoot last cannons into the air. That's what I like to see. That was quite actually. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, might actually. Might not, I might just make oh, this. we do have a wonderful dice bet for this game as oh, well. Yeah. Um, we actually, John lost the dice bet of the Apocalypse Pack. We have to make him pay for that one too. But it wasn't a dice Right bet. now, um, the loser of today's dice bet, whoever drops the most dice, um, is going to have to play their next stream match, whoever it may be against, with an oven mitt on their dominant hand. So it's going to be real fun to watch John play with an oven mitt. I think mm -hmm. that's that's what we all came here to see. John's breaking models over here. It's great. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm going to use our fancy schmancy new mic to talk and stuff while John spends half an hour deploying his Mr. Cult Army. Uh huh. We got a some fancy schmancy new mic for the guys who are sitting out, guys. So, um, they're gonna mute us, put themselves on, talk all nice, get some commentary from the fans. Nick, do I have to go around this round again? I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Okay. And here we are, guys, testing out the new mic, learning about it. Learn about I have to be right on top of this thing with talk, and it feels a little invading of someone's privacy, but it actually doesn't exist. So here we are talking about this game and the question is, can the Salamanders handle Ridge Runner shooting and return and kill enough damage in this early game? So we want to see what happens here. Now, do we got some things right here? Secondaries. So let's talk about these secondaries. These secondary choices, which will be Nick took Reaper, Go into that list right now. Easy way. Big game and ground control. Nick plans on staying this game. His early game strategy is to survive, do some damage, but not do crippling damage because he wants to make sure that he's in the game and not exposing himself to those ground controls. So those Reapers, it's a Gene Seer Cult unit. There's lots of accolades. There's lots of things. It's just going to have to get those wounds. Same thing with the big game is those Ridge Runners are going to have to be either dealt with and he's choosing. Eventually, he has to do enough damage to him, but they're not crippling nick and later points now john's took in recon reaper and behind enemy lines the reaper is going to be really kind of the hard one right here i think because of the fact that it is a marine list with like only about 100 wounds so he has to make sure that he kills enough of that if he can get three points off it that's great if he gets two points that can be really awkward if he only gets one point that's 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 that's, that's, that's games losing fast um uh, behind enemy lines i think is an interesting choice because he's taking recon and those two is a combination means that you're taking a little bit more of an aggressive stage at some point in the game not probably aggressive early game probably an aggressive mid game to late game transition 
So you figuring this out and then aberrants are scary guys. Let's see what these aberrants can do against all Marines. Do they get shocks assault off the board or do they actually kill centurions? We're going to learn that. Can they handle that overwatch? Other than that, Siegs, you got any opinions? He's over here doing some setup. Yeah, so this is a very interesting matchup, uh, but I will say we are trying this mic out for the very first time. So please let us know how it sounds, uh, what settings we need to change, and we will be happy to do that. Um, kind of in the in the process of working through the setup. But uh, thank you again, everybody, for the new mic. Uh, we really appreciate your support. And once again, all your donations, all those gifted subs, uh, they go right back into the stream. So we really appreciate it. Y'all brought this as much as we worked into this, guys. It's the reason why we are doing this is for y'all. And y'all support us well enough that we're here now today. Okay. All right. So we doing that. I think that's mostly most of that pregame talk. So we can go ahead and go to the players' mics and see what they're thinking as John's setting up and get Nick's opinions. And let's get John's opinions after he's finished setting up. I think that was a pretty spot on uh, assessment of what's going on here. Uh, I'm definitely just trying to survive for a while while waiting to see how John plays. It's so difficult playing against Dream Stealer Cult just because you don't know how they're going to come in to do. John can play this game super defensive, super aggressive, all that stuff. So I tried to play the safe approach by hiding behind walls, bridge runners, being defensive. One thing. Oh, yeah. Quick, have a question. How many fits to make him play with socks? Oh, oh. I, I think we're going to save that for the dice. But it, I will say, if you feel the need to donate 5,000 bits to this chat, I will bust out the socks right now. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, John's kind of pulling everything on the line. Uh, really interested to see the aberrants just hanging out on their own some right there. They're mm -hmm. not doing anything. Um, John, what's your thought process with that? I put all the characters in the truck. So that they can get an extra four inches of movement, the aberrants are going to get in the truck down. That makes a lot Before of I sense. move it. So, because I know I'm going first and can't get seized on here, there's no risk to this. I just get an extra four inches of movement on all of the characters here. That makes a lot of sense. Um, all right, just a couple seconds. Also, guys, one of the things with the new mic, that third mic for the Mark and the Seagulls are ever sitting out, uh, they have to mute our mics to use them, so we have to go back and forth on that stuff. Let us know if you care about their commentary, if you find it useful, if you want them to speak up more. If they're commentating too much and you want to hear from the players more, let us know about that. We're, we're very experimental. It's the first time doing it. So um, give us feedback and we will respond appropriately and uh, help us make this thing, thing more enjoyable for you. Who is going to give those centurions um, ignoring you? So this incursor right here is within six inches of all of them and then okay. so that they can be affected and then this spike is going to be closer and visible to all of you guys sounds wonderful all right well uh, i think that's going to be it for me i decided not to perfect ambush these acolytes forward why did you choose not to um i was thinking about what i was going to spend my command points on if i perfect ambush them forward and i use vect this turn then i end up spending six command points and i, I just don't think i want to get in that kind of a hole early on you know burrito all right ready to go yeah, let's do it. Okay, so starting things off, we are going to advance with this Acolyte unit. I think I have to use Self-Sacrifice now. It's beginning of the shooting phase, I think. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it's one on target. Oh, it's, sorry, you're moving, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I thought, I, I got confused. I thought the whole deployment phase was moving. No, 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 okay. Silly GPC, like Cole. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and advance this Acolyte unit. Mm -hmm. You're going one inch. I'm actually going to reroll that, because that's Ooh. terrible. All right, so are, one they, higher than one. are they going? So they're going three inches, and I'm going to keep that command point on a five. I do keep it. All right. I'm still at eight, but he regen one this turn. All right. So they're going a total of 12 inches here. And this actually is going to end up putting them quite close to this unit of scouts. Uh-huh. Um, actually, since they're touching the wall, couldn't I just... You could probably them? fight the front, the front unit, there, but you can't fight the eliminators. Yeah, I'll have to go around to reach them. Yeah. Sounds good. Can we get some more gamble action going, please? So my goal here is just to sacrifice this Acolyte unit to take out both of these, just so that Nick then has to next turn put something else in front of his characters. Because I'm not going to be able to shoot his characters this turn. Um, but I do want Nick to have to commit something else to keeping the characters alive. I don't want him to just have that luxury.
All right. So because the process of the the commentator's mic right now, we're still learning it right now. It's a mm -hmm. pain to switch between them and the player mics. We need to come up with a faster system for that. We're just going to do a couple of them periodically. We're not going to have a lot of commentary of, from the, the commentators during the game. So be like normal, just me and John kind of talking the whole way through. Uh, if Mark and Siegs need to talk, they can, of course, use the mic, but it's a pain. Uh, and we'll, we'll take a couple breaks halftime, maybe like around turn two, turn three, to get their thoughts while John's setting up his thousands of reserves. <laughs> How much do you have in reserve after, actually? Um, just uh, 20, uh, one unit of Brood Brothers, one unit of Neophytes, and then one Acolyte Squad, and one, one Patriarch. So I don't actually have a ton in reserve. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah, no, that's the <laughs> thing you do. Huh? You want to repeat yourself while I wasn't listening? Yep. So Thanks. I have in reserve one Patriarch, one Acolyte Squad, a Brood Brother Squad, and a Neophyte Squad. That's it. Is it the Super Patriarch? No, Super Patriarch's right there. Okay. Super Patriarch is this warlord that has like a billion... A billion uh, everything. Really good in combat. That's, that's the He's, simplest way to think about that. He is quite, quite tough. Okay, so let's um get the Magus out. Go right there. We'll get the Abominant out. The armies look great. Thank you, Zyko. The Gene Circle were painted by Mr. Lennon himself, and the mm -hmm. Salamanders were painted by moi. Um, both are still works in progress, I'm pretty sure, but they're, they're at least a, a solid tabletop. Look, look at it. that. Caught a dice that I almost dropped off the table. Almost did. No dice bet lost we'll there. This, uh... Ain't no other mitts on my hands. Let's just see here. Hmm, not quite. Oh. So, John's taking his time on this turn one moon phase, which just makes a lot of sense. Gene Steer Cults, uh, they're a very fragile army. If you, um, if you get overly reckless with them, you're just gonna lose your toughness three, top five up armor save guys really mm -hmm. fast, and then it's gonna be really sad. Right. So the Aberrants got in that truck right there, we we'll drove onto that Art of War objective. Not too shabby. Really yeah, threatening annoyingness with that. Yes. And really the thing here is just to make sure that Nick can't shoot me with a bunch of hurricane bolters. Because if Nick wants to pop this truck, I want to make him use something big like the Scorpius. And like he can shoot it to death, but it's going to require both volleys from the Scorpius to, to have a, a decent chance. Does it have feel of pain too? It does. Six oh, up. Annoying. I know. Just, just annoying enough. Not. And you said it was worse than a rhino. I think it is worse than a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> pain. This thing's got like 40 wounds. Okay. Um, so we got some questions in the chat. They're asking why I'm playing Salamanders. Yeah, and absolutely. one, I think they're one of the most underrated factions in the game right now. A lot of their synergies and buffs, I've actually played them on stream before, are very hidden. And it kind of also show with the toolbox style list mm -hmm. I brought. I'm using things like large incursion squads. I can get minus two to hit with, uh, I want to say it's Fire Shield as a psychic power, plus the ability mm -hmm. for them to pop smoke launchers. They make an excellent screen for self-sacrifice. So does. I can deploy things like Centurions aggressively and not have to hide them against armies with 25 last cannons. They have the plus one to wound stratagem, which as any Chaos player with Vets will tell you, is an amazing tool for just doing more damage, but especially so on things like Centurions with Hurricane Bolters and Flamers, a lot of strength four, really appreciates plus one to wound. They have uh, also works on Snipers. So things like the 10-man Sniper Scout squad I have, now they get plus one to wound, lets them obviously snipe characters with plus one to wound. That's like Raven Guard status. We're doing mortals on fives, all kinds of good stuff there. Um, I can apply it to my Scorpius to really help mitigate that strength six stuff. Um, that That's the main tricks to the army, but like things like Master Artists and Eliminators that ignore AP minus one and cover can just be really, really useful. Uh, they're quite potent. Uh, I have a chapter master, or a, ca a captain on a bike with Thunderhammer Storm Shield. That guy, his warlord trait makes him toughness seven. I can cast Drake Skin on him, make him toughness eight. He's got another relic that's minus one to wound on him. So toughness eight minus one to wound means something strength four or less literally can't wound him. That's amazing. Things like crack missiles are wounding him on fives. It's uh, you, and like I'm not going all the way with it, but I could take. Might of Heroes, make him toughness 9, minus 1 to wound. Now things like Crack Missiles, Strength 8, Strength 8's in abundance on this mm -hmm. game. Wound him on 6s. That's super strong. What is his toughness right now? Cur currently 7. Okay. So, Salamanders are really underrated. All their stuff is super subtle, which is often not what people who've designed armies like. Uh, they try to just take the brute force stuff, like 9 Ridge Runners. It's nonsense. Oh, but, right. um... <laughs> 
that's one of the things I love about them is that they are so subtle. Okay, this is just about the end of my Finally. my psychic phase. Psychic phase. My movement phase. My definitely, movement not, phase. definitely not done. I think we're done with the psychic phase. I don't like Those it. acolytes can't charge because you didn't cast stimulus. I gotcha. <laughs> well, I could just use this one CP if I fell. <laughs> oh. All right. We are. Uh, we're... Okay, so two of the ridge runners ended up moving, but all nine do have range to that centurion squad. If you say so. Mm -hmm. I do, I do, I do. All right. All right, so we're going to start off by casting Psychic Stimulus off of the Magus onto this Acolyte squad. Yep. Uh, because um, it has the Crouchling, it's plus one to cast, and because it is the um, Psyche of the Cult within six inches of another Psyker, it's plus two to cast. Broken. So I just need to roll a four on this. Which and I he did. rolled an 11. I'm so proud. Rolled a 13. Oh. So this Acolyte squad can now advance and charge. Neat. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, now we're just going to cast Might from Beyond on the same unit. Yep. And this is also off the Magus, so plus two to go. So is he popping his once per game cast? No, nope, because it has the cult, uh, Psyche of the Cult, it can just cast. Oh, just cast two. Card. That's pretty cool. Yep. And then finally, we're going to cast with the um, Patriarch here. We're going to cast plus one to wound, targeting that uh, scout unit. Yep. It's a 12 inch power specifically for Twisted Helix. Uh, it's going to pass on an eight. All right. And uh, I don't know where your librarian it's is. It's all the way back here. You're all good. the way back there. Great. Who is that? That's Adrax. That's Adrax. Okay. That's adorable. All right. Yeah. So that should um, bring it about. All right. So beginning phase, of the shooting phase. I'm going to spend two CP for self-sacrifice. Right. I'm actually going to vect that right now. You're going to vect it right now. I'm going gonna, gonna to just try to get these Centurions right. a little degraded early. So John's going to spend three CP yep. for vect. And, and I've already get regained this turn. Yep. See if you get it. It's two. two. So I get refunded. I'm up to 11. Yep. Two is a... That's fine. <laughs> it's not a one. It's not a one. <laughs> All right. Okay, and then really for my shooting phase, it is going to consist solely of me shooting all these Ridge Runners into the Centurion squad. Yeah. We're going to just see how much damage this does here. All right, we got the gimbal up. Yep. Let me just create a little more space to roll here. All right, so we're just going to start. Um, I think uh, we'll start with this unit, this two man. So mining lasers will go first. Just two shots. Two shots. I like to see that. Um, uh, actually, I might transhuman here. Uh, it's, I'm toughness. Five, so we're on threes versus fours. I've already been refunded for my self sacrifice, so mm -hmm. I think it's just the value is important here. So I'm okay. gonna do it. So, yep, keep going. All right, so it is one wound. One wound, and he's good on a four he's up because I am in cover for a one up armor save. Very nice. Yes, so these last cannons are taking him down to four ups. Yep. All right, so, so the stubbers, stubbers? Yep, they just all hit. Yep. And They'll wound five him on fives. Wounds. So just uh, four saves for you, please. Four two ups. Oh, he's good. And then we're going to shoot the next Ridge Runner unit right here. Yep. Three man. Three man. All right. So it's six, six shots. shots. A little bit better here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, not, three hits. Not great on the hits. I like to see that. Uh, three saves. Three saves. Transhuman did not help. Four ups, though. One goes oh, through. He's only failed one so far. That's yep. pretty good for Nick. Not too bad. Four, Four damage. damage. If I make a six of Pino Pain, that'll be a big deal. I don't, though. All right, so one sent down. One sent down. Okay. Right, all these. Alright, and here are all these stubbers. We're just gonna try to flink a wound through. It would have been really annoying if John if I passed the six up feeling pain and the stubbers did the last wound. Mm -hmm. So I actually don't mind that it happened this way. So five more saves. Assuming I do fail one of these. Yeah. Which nope, I don't he oh, does not. All fours there. All right. So if I can keep that up for last Then games. the next squad, uh, one of them stays still. He gets three shots. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Yep. And Transhuman Transhuman finally helps. And then two that did move get five shots. All right. Three hits. Transhuman. Three more saves. Oh, triple fours. Worthless transhuman. Two there we go. go two right. down. The first one is a six. six. Not what Spicy you warp see. fire. Uh, another Takes one another set down. down. All right. And the next one is a one. I actually Ooh, am really tempted really to really going down this. through the command points right now. He's going to, he's out eight, five. Yeah. Can't regen any this turn. Not this turn. Um, what are we thinking? You don't, you don't have an apothecary, right? No apothecary. Every scent you kill is a scent that's dead. Yeah. I might, um, I might just let this one slide. All right, so just one damage is going to be... He's good oh, on a warp it. fire. All right, so let's do all these stubbers. These ones are stationary. Uh, one save. Just one, two up. And oh, failed that finally one. got one. And no warp fire there, so scent takes a one one. And then the rest of the stubbers. All right. Just uh, four more saves. Four more. Not four ones. One right. one. And a warp fire. No Almost. warp fire. Two wounds to a sun. So it killed two half and a half suns out of five. Half the unit for three of John's CP and two of mine. But he uses one vex, so I'm not too yeah. 
Nick didn't have any stratagems that I felt I really needed to vect, so I was okay spending that. Um, that will be it for my shooting phase. Actually, I'm sorry. The Jackal Alphys is going to... Um, so this captain's minus one to wound, right? Um, and he's toughness a lot. Seven, yeah. um, can this Jackal, I wonder if it can reach whoever this is. Adrax? Adrax, yeah. Sure can. So we're just going to plink a shot on Adrax. Sure. And she holds still. So we'll just hit on a two. Yep. Wound on... Not, not a one. one. Definitely okay. not a one. All right. So that'll be it there. And we're going to go ahead and declare some charge with the Acolytes. We're going to charge both the Scouts and... Right, this so the eliminators can use their ignore uh, line, ignore of line of sight shots. Mm -hmm, sure can. So let me grab the gimbal real quick. All right. So six is to hit, and nope. I got Master Artisans. So the Salamander. Ooh, two, two hits. warp fires. That's pretty good. And Master Artisans. Let's try it again. Salamanders. Two, two AP minus AP two. two. And he ignores cover, ignores so he's cover. actually just killing two. Kill of them. two acolytes for free. I will take it. Yep. Pretty good Overwatch. Gotta love that sneaky, sneaky salamanders. Right. So I am plus one to charge here. Mm -hmm. So an 11 is definitely gonna take care of all my problems. Yeah, yeah I didn't think that was gonna not happen. Part of the reason I put these guys out, the eliminators and the scouts, is because I'm perfectly fine with John trading one of his real resources, mm -hmm. Acolyte Squads, for just some eliminators and some scouts. And they blocked, uh, well, they, they blocked for my characters, so I didn't eat a bunch of last cans because my characters are blocking the sense for self sacrifice. Now, of course, John vected it. With his uh, plan for generations or generations in the making. Oh yeah, many generations. Many generations. How, how many generations were you planning to block my self-sacrifice? Um, pretty much since I saw that you were playing Salamanders. So that was about yesterday. About yesterday, yeah. So a, a plan one probably, day. Probably, probably not that many generations. No, but it was like it was a couple generations. Was so John's doing something real clever here. He's putting his rock saws on the two and eliminators mm -hmm. and the bulky. AP minus one, running claw dudes onto those scouts. Yep, yep, yep. The nice thing though is at least salamanders ignore AP minus one, so maybe I'll end up okay out of this. Yep. And that's actually why I put the plus one to wound on the scouts so that I can get uh, rending on a four, on a five or a six, mm. just to try to punch through those saves. So we'll start off with the uh, rock saws here, hitting on twos because I have a primus within nine inches. That's his warlord trait. So it's five hits. I just need three of these to be two ups, and the unit will die. And sure enough. Uh, the eliminators are out pop, pop, pop. and getting him down to six eliminators instead of nine is really really useful because it means he's a lot less likely to one shot one of my characters and then I have um, eight acolytes who are all gonna hit that scout squad right from beyond will be very helpful here I was really hoping John would try to rat my eliminators instead of just killing them no. to avoid being shot because no. one I would still have eliminators too no, you would they got them. a bunch of punches they would kill the, the crap out of these yeah. acolytes no I would I would lose them before one two three four five Okay, I need one more. So here are all the Acolytes swinging along. And uh, these are actually naturally a plus one strength for being Twisted Helix. So they're hitting on twos, and they are wounding on twos. Brutal. It's a wonderful combination. Why are they wounding on twos? Um, because I'm plus one to wound from the uh, Sanctuary. Oh. From the... Okay. All right, so right off the bat, Nick is a very dead scout. So four scouts are dead. Five scouts are dead. Plus one Six. Wound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, they're all dead. All right, so all these scouts are dead. Now I have to consolidate towards the closest model, who is Adrax, which means I'm really not doing anything interesting. All right. He's going to go bop into cover, and he's just going to sit. Actually, do we do outline cover? Yeah. All right, so the, the unit's just, uh, just gonna grab some cover dancing saves. in cover. Right. Not that it's going to help much. I expect the Centurions are going to knock him down. Okay. okay. All right, so the, for me, that should give me a kill hold bonus on turn one. You have characters on three objectives? One, two, Ooh, three. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky characters on the side. Yep. I don't want that gene stealer cult life. Living the gene stealer cult life. All right. So. Oh, not a good start. Not a good start. Yeah, that's, that's, a dice, that's a dice bet. Okay. All right. All right. It's not, not a good start at all. <laughs> no, it's okay. It could be worse. You're doing um, great. Let's see. Let's see. I do. I would like to kill some character people. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they're. A little bit of bait. Not much of bait, but a little Not bit. A little bit. So if I get the eliminators out here, it's a great catch. And then move them six this way. They'll get to that cover save. They'll be in line of sight of the Ridge Runners. It gets you over. I'll get the Abomin. I don't want the Abomin. Oh, why not? Well, I might be able to just one shot him with a heavy round. I could also get out after I move this Impulsor, of course. I'll go for that. All right. So let's get these eliminators out. And you get to really see some of the powerful sniping capabilities that uh, salamanders have. 
Nope. So get out the ranges here. Seeks, when you're done fixing poor Johnny's thing, if you'd like to get the gimbal going, that'd be cool. All right. Bringing the eliminators out, definitely what I want to see. So I'm, I'm, I'm well pleased. Now, just out of curiosity, Nick, is there a reason you're moving them before you move the impulsor? Yes. So I, I don't, I want this impulsor to act as a screen from incoming acolytes mm -hmm. and a self-sacrifice screen and a character screen for these guys. Gotcha. And if he wants to shoot the last cannons at the impulsor, not the eliminators, that is perfectly fine by me. Makes sense to me. Great. And 39 inches. The back guys have the abominant. 36. 36. That's what I'm, I'm measuring 36. Okay. I'm saying 39. So this is the edge of my abominant. That okay. helps you. So the goal is to get everyone on the abominant, yeah. right? You got it then. I'm not worried. Okay. So then what else do we want to do? Get the sniper scouts out. Who do they have range to? They don't have range there. They could also get range to. Just think about line of sight as well. Yeah. Because he is shorter than the truck. Can't really see him with the truck. So we'll hold off on that. Let's advance or let's get these these intercessors into this impulsor. That's another reason I wanted to mm -hmm. clear out those guys. Now let's advance that impulsor forward. A warp fire. So it's a 20-inch 20 20 move. move. That's very cool right there. Beautiful. Just like that. Acting like another screen for characters. Really getting annoying. And these, soon these intercessors are going to be able to start messing up some backfield stuff. Mm -hmm. Engaging bridge runners, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh... He sends Scurry sideways a bit. Still tagging that cover save. They should be able to absolutely obliterate these acolytes. At least two of them can see. Let's see if the third can. Yeah, all three can see that acolyte, and that okay. is the end of them. All right, so that's, oh yeah, that's all three all centurions. All three sons can see, yep. Okay, yeah, that should be very bad for me. Even so, though he's in uh, Dev Doctrine, it should, should still be a lot. Norse cover is still strong. Mm -hmm. um, let's here. see. Do these sniper scouts want to do anything, or does that impulsor want to do anything? Mm, these are the questions. I do have one acolyte squad in reserve, just to make sure... But I've got that threat for Nick to think about. So I think this impulsor wants to advance a bit. Mm -hmm. Love it. And try to complete a screen with that impulsor. So he's going to go 16 inches. Okay. All right, we have another impulsor coming out. And you're leaving the, um, the intercessor squads in both of them? Yep. Okay. These scouts will just... Uh, they're going to move in advance, actually. Yeah, of course. They're not going to do too much, but they're going to finish the screen out. And John doesn't want to really devote any firepower to him because no, there's probably not, not really anything to send his way besides heavy stubbers, and that won't be able to see them. Mm -hmm. But we'll tag cover with a few of them just in case. Makes sense to me. Yeah, sergeant and cover. Ooh. Cover. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Gotta figure out what to do with these incursors. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, Space Marines don't have quite as much to wrap as I would like them to. Uh, just because of shock assault, it's very Let's difficult. Advance them. We're gonna go nine. We're just gonna climb up here. And again, if John wants to shoot in curses right now, that is perfectly fine by me. They are literally there to be a meat shield. Gianna, what did you say? For second spells and relics for the ESC. Yeah, absolutely. So on this patriarch here, who's my warlord right in the middle, uh, he has the um, elixir of the prime specimen which gives him a bunch of extra combat stats. So he's going to be a real blender if he gets to engage with anything Nick has. Um, he also would be very good at killing uh, those Centurions because he's also plus one damage from his Warlord trait. Uh, for Psychic Powers, that gentleman has uh, Mass Hypnosis and the uh, new Twisted Helix spell that gives plus one to wound. My Magus has Mass Hypnosis as well as Might From Beyond and Psychic Stimulus. Uh, and Magus knows three because of uh, the Crouch Link that it has. And then finally, the last Patriarch in Reserve has um, the Mental Onslaught, just as a throwback, as well as Might from Beyond. So let's do some Psychic-based stuff. We are going to do uh, Drake Skin on one unit of Eliminators. That'll okay. give them plus one toughness. All right, so he's really going to make that Eliminator Passes. squad a lot harder for me to kill. Yep. I don't have any Psychers nearby, so I think he just gets it off. And we'll do minus one... To hit onto these Centurions here. Ooh, very annoying. Uh, passes on eight. Passes on an eight. 
Uh, nothing you can do about that. So let's mm -hmm. just go to the shooting phase. All right, love it. We'll start. Oh, did I block my own line of sight with this impulsor? That's the question. Let's let's, oh. uh, let's go up here. Yeah. What are you? Are you just the abominant? Just the abominant. Um, you might have because this is. Yeah, that's a little annoying. I think if I just do that, I'm good though. Yeah, no problem. You've got line of sight through these little few. Uh, these ones definitely. These four. These two. If you want to adjust them, I, just maybe stand them up a little. Yeah, I'm gonna put them up here. Okay. So so they can all get line of sight. Yeah. Down. Sounds great. This is why you don't speed through your turn. All kids. right. You see all what right. Those so. Ones can do? First, I don't think um, they can do it. By the way, I don't think those guys. Actually, let's do the ten them. sniper scouts at that Goliath truck thing. Ooh, okay. Um, I could spend a CP to count a stationary. I don't think it's worth it. I'm not gonna give them plus one one. I'll give it to the Scorpius. Mm -hmm. So, forced hit because they moved. Rerolling ones and rerolling one of my misses for master artisans. Very Seven nice. Hits. Okay. Seven hits and Very then cool. fives to wound and sixes will do mortals. Rerolling ones for my lieutenant. And then rerolling one of those. So it'll be five armor saves at AP minus one. And a mortal wound. And a mortal wound. Okay, so I'll have a four up armor save and cover. Yep. Uh, I do feel three of them, and so. then a mortal wound is four wounds, but yep. I'll take a six up feel no pain on that. So warp fire two. helps. I only take two wounds here. Not too shabby. Nope. I Let's... like having that truck alive. And then. And really, I just want to make sure that this truck survives the first volley from the Scorpius, is what I'm really hoping for. Yeah. Just so that when the aberrants bail out, they don't get hit by it. Let's do, there's how many Acolytes here? That is currently 10. Do they have any sort of buffs, like defense-wise? No. no. All right, we're going to do, I need a kill unit this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want to send all the sense at him, or do I want to get a little cheeky and send one at a Ridge Runner? I think I'll do 24 shots, hitting on threes, roll everything, wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. And do you re-roll just... everything or just ones? Re-roll ones, sorry. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, two cents are going to go with these Acolytes, and then mm -hmm. one cent is going to go with this Ridge Runner unit. Mm -hmm. So, That's bold, because if one of them lives, they will be fearless from that patriarch. Yep, so re-rolling ones for the so captain, and yep. then re-rolling one of my twos for master artisans. Nice. Gotta love those salamanders. And I'm just toughness three. And threes to wound, re-rolling ones to wound, and re-rolling one of my twos. Re-rolling ones. Mm-hmm. And then It's a good thing he's got that lieutenant. Yep. Oh, didn't really help. So... That many AP nothings. It's nothing, so I'm so, just gonna have a five up all the time because yep, uh, ignores cover. This ignores cover. Mm -hmm. So I pass. That so many. Three. That's nine. Nine that's are gonna really die. Really annoying. One left. <laughs> We're just gonna leave. That's what you get for oh, being and greedy. Oh, advance. So. Uh, yep. So twelve more shots are gonna go into this ridge runner here. Uh huh. So reroll ones. I've already rerolled both my hit into my wound roll. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry. Uh, just two armor saves. Okay, so I'll just have to take a four up armor. I do make Makes both of them. Definitely should have killed that acolyte. Yep. Mistakes were made, kids. All right, so here we have a choice with these eliminators. We can go for that abominant, um, mm -hmm. or we can just go for that. Go uh, for that one acolyte. Yeah, honestly, it's a kill. Um, I'm gonna have the first unit split fire. The mm -hmm. first unit's gonna have one shot at the acolyte, and then two shots using the, the mortis rounds into the uh, actually Goliath truck here. Into the Goliath truck, yep. interesting. So two shots in the Goliath truck. Both right, they hit. both hit. And then wounding on fives. Yep. And then I uh, so, will reroll ones from the lieutenant, not using oh, my salamander okay. reroll. So, so just, just one save. One save minus two. Might be minus three. It's minus three. Okay. So, so I do fail, fail that. that. D3 damage will be just, just one. one. And nope, I do yep. take the wound. And here's the ignores line of sight shot on the acolyte. It's. And reroll from Ooh, the lieutenant. Ooh, is he going to live? Oh, one minus two ignores cover kills him. That's yep. kill unit. All right, so Nick does get his kill there. So the next squad, I'm actually going to have my sergeant not shoot. Mm -hmm. So I gave myself plus one to hit and plus one to wound. They're both going to shoot that tank. Oh, okay. So he's really going after the Goliath here. So one hit only. Mm -hmm. Reroll the one, two, one. Force to wound. Reroll that. We'll no just not dice. Move. Literally nothing happened. Okay. All right. I like it. It means all my characters are safe, which makes me very happy. Not, not my finest moment. So it looks like mostly everything except the, the Scorpius, Scorpius is, is all I got left. Um, I'm going to spend one CP and get my Scorpius plus one to wound. Okay. And we're just going to go... I do really want to get these Goliath, these Ridge Runners down, but... Oh, no, they're not I think anything. I think I got some time on that, to be honest. So we're going to start mm -hmm. with the truck here. Yeah, so First volley is going to be six shots, hitting okay, on twos average. for my chaplain. Very nice. I gotta move my shot. He's still right there. Mm -hmm. um, six hits, and then he's T6. Yep, so uh, should be three. Three to wound, rerolling ones, and rerolling one of my twos. There's Salamanders, rolled three twos there. Four wounds minus three AP. All right, so I will get a six up save and cover here. So if I make one of these, it's guaranteed to live. Oh, it's cocked. Warp Whoa, fire. Warp fire on the cocked. 
So uh, just six damage. Uh, I do fail all them, uh, so it is a one, one wound and false. One wound thing left. So this the real is, question is, is Nick willing to call annoying. in an orbital bombardment to kill it? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. No, this is, I, I, I love your creativity here. The real question is, do I give up that kill unit, which is the, I've already killed one, but killing that uh -huh. is kill more, to actually just try to get work done on some Ridge Runners here. Make my life easier later on. I mean, that's a lot of shooting to get one wound out on the Goliath. It's, it's, if I get the Goliath to die, then you have to roll 10 dice to see if any aberrants die. If you roll a couple uh -huh. ones there, life gets a little easier. Every aberrant's a dead aberrant, I'm happy. Every dead aberrant's a good aberrant? Yeah. Um, although, because the truck is degraded really bad, its movement characteristic sucks. It's oh, kind of true, in the does. middle of nowhere right now. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have to use those aberrants anyway. Um, that's not true. He's going to have to try to do something with them. Yeah. The only thing that I could think of is if uh, they go for this wrap on these scouts. But I can go through the wall, no? Because it's ruins, infantry, I don't know. Um, how did you want to play this? That's we didn't really talk you. about it. Let's get an impartial party seeks to make a ruling for us. You can't walk through it, Nick. Okay, I can't walk through it. All right, so I could definitely pin him against that wall then if I just make a charge on the impulsor and just tag him right well, that there. That would be terrible. Unfortunately, there's Man. nothing I can do about that at this point. Even if I kill the truck, they're still just going to get out and make that play. So... Just I'm just gonna go for this uh, this larger Ridge Runner unit back here. Okay, just love it. Damage done. Uh, seven right. shots. And he's still plus one to wound, which is quite spicy. Yep. So two's to hit. All hit. Ooh, and then very your good. Your top is five or six. I'm top is five. All right. So two's to wound. All right. And he's got a lieutenant. And rerolling one of those. Oh no. He's so really... six minus threes will be just damage. Okay. So, so it's gonna be twelve damage. So the first one will take eight oh, damage. Eight. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Makes four warp fires. <laughs> All right, we'll take... Let's not do that again. Okay, we killed All one. Right, you did get one. Let's see if it blows. Hey. Nice. All right, that was just a... I don't care. Pick one. Okay. That's not what you wanted to see, guys. That was not not, not the turn we wanted. Um. Okay. So I think that's just going to be it for me. I got kill a unit, hold an objective. Mm -hmm. so... I got one big game 100 points, mm -hmm. and that's going to be it. All right, so I'll get kill more and hold more. Yep. So, all right, you can take your turn, John. And then we got some questions from the chat asking Ooh. about our thoughts on the new board size. Overall, I think it's a very positive thing for the community. Um, reason being is now the game is going to be smaller. It's more easily accessible because not everyone has giant 6x4 tables to play on in their house. Now it's a little easier, takes up less space. Also, from a running event standpoint, you either get a better quality of life as the attendee because there's just more space in between your tables. Like right now, if you were to attend LVO or something, you're packing 900 people in like a small space, relatively small space. So you're kind of breathing on down each other's necks a little bit. Now that extra foot between each table, that's room for you to put your armies, for you to hang out, whatever. Or if you think about it, 450 tables to accommodate 900 table players, each getting a foot shorter in length. Mm -hmm. That's now 450 feet divided by five foot tables. That's what? 20, 40, 60, I don't know, I can't math. 85-ish tables, something like that. 90 tables? 90 tables. That was the math. Um, that was the math. So I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it's overall a good thing. It's going to take some adjusting to get used to. From a gameplay standpoint, um, I don't really know how it's going to affect everything. We don't have the full picture of 9th. Everyone loves to take 8th edition and then just apply all these random changes that we're seeing that they're previewing to 8th edition. That's really not how the world works. We are getting 9th edition, guys, and small changes across the board like this can have huge ramifications on the gameplay aspect, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, but overall, I'm very optimistic about it. Yeah, the dice are with John tonight. Why would That's... they be with me? Why would they? Wait, what? Uh, yeah, are they? Four warp fires on eight dice. Hey, you killed one Ridge Runner, that's average. I could have killed one and changed, make my life easier later on. Sorry you're hitting wounded with everything. I hit on two as we're rolling ones, wound on two as we're rolling ones. Okay. Get the salt. Get the salt. All right, all right, all right. All right, mm. all right so I'm just kind of, so I got this aberrant unit out. Where's our other tape measure? Why is John stealing mine? Here. Did you use this one? The orange one's mine. Yeah, I did it. Okay. All right, and then we're going to just advance the uh, biophages here. So he's going a very healthy 13 inches. Very healthy. Very healthy. No one's ever claimed the biophages is healthy. Oh, he's very healthy. Hmm. All right, so now let's, um, I think we should go ahead and uh, advance this. They're, they're already in range, so they're going to be advancing with plus four to this roll. Yep. Because they're plus two for Twisted Helix, plus one for the Clam Vest, plus one for the Abominant being, being a field commander. So they're only going to go 12 inches with that. Only 12. But 12 inches is still enough that I'm pretty confident I'm going to be able to attack this Impulsor. 
Well, that would be sad. Well, you could roll double ones on that charge. And unless I'm plus one to charge. For... Well, and you can. There we go. There you have it, folks. And, you and... can unless you can't. You can unless you can't. That's what they say. That is what they say down here in the industry, as they call it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm just leaving one little dude right next to the biophages because I want to give them a buff this turn. Mm -hmm. And then this Magus is just out of 24 of that Librarian, but he's within 18 of these Aberrants. So I'll be able to throw all of my buffs on them. Uh, specifically, I really need to pass Psychic Stimulus, but I do have quite a few buffs to my Castrol, so I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get it off. Um, and I actually... Let's just look at where these Intercessors might pop out if they're feeling spicy. I mean, the Intercessors could come out this turn, but I think I'm going to leave my Reserves... Uh, up in the sky just to make Nick think about it for another turn. That's really my goal here. And definitely, um, Salamanders are very durable. They're a lot tougher than I am, so I really am focusing on running up the scoreboard early here, knowing that Nick will probably have a pretty, probably have more of his army left than I will at the end of this. That's the spirit. That's why you took ground control, kids. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here. So we'll advance this Abominant. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. The and then we'll advance the uh, Goliath the... truck right there. Um, actually, fast. I should check what its uh, movement is right now. Can someone check the movement of a Goliath truck at bottom tier? My memory says that it's three inches, but it might be four. Sounds like a man, a job for the man at the computer. Sounds like I said man at the computer. Thing. It's Ziggs. <laughs> <laughs> he is the robot. Okay, so I'm actually pretty comfortable with my Patriarch where he is. Do you have any uh, kind of weapon on that sergeant? On the inner no, I had to cut them for points. Okay. So I'm actually very comfortable leaving my characters kind of where they are. Um, I think we'll advance the Primus. Oh, he actually goes way more than that. Sounds very methodical with the measuring. Mm -hmm. That makes one of us. Um, right. mm. That whole shooting phase was a travesty. Imagine if that one Eliminator didn't shoot that Acolyte because I didn't split fire, then he could have killed that truck. I did this warn is you called that it was not uh... sucking. Uh, your move characteristic is four, Mr. Lennon. Aha, uh -huh. I'm going six inches. And really all I'm trying to do is get out of line of sight as much as I can. I acknowledge it's not enough to save the truck this turn, but he is going to have to shoot it. Or he can just ignore it because it is now empty and worthless. Well, also, I'm moving to Tactical Doctrine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, what else am I doing? I have to do my litanies. Yeah, you do. So let's do plus one to hit onto the sniper scouts, mm -hmm. which works. And we will do plus two to charge. Sorry, we'll do the Scorpius again. So Scorpius and plus two charge. Yep, I love it. For some reason I forgot I had a Scorpius. No problem. So... Uh, oh, we got more questions. I'd be interested to know how you got that teal color. All right, so this is a adapted method from the Army Painter, which is my paint sponsor. They uh, have taught me how to paint, and they made me God not suck them. at it. And you got to respect uh, the effort they put in. Gotta really appreciate it. We, we do it on our daily paint stream every day at 3 p.m. Uh, EST on our Twitch channel right here. We just did a really cool one earlier today. But to give you an idea, is you prime it white, or I prime it white. Mm -hmm. Um, then I really, really watered down Elemental Bolt, which is an Army Painter uh, turquoise color. Uh, watered down a ton and just apply it all over the model. Just literally all over the place. It's like, like a really heavy wash, pretty much. Then I let that dry. It takes a while to dry because you watered down a ton. Then um, I wash it blue. And just keep going. Just, just keep going and tell me what happened later. All right. um, so wash it with a blue tone from Army Painter's uh, wash set. Then I go back and I take a 50-50 mix of Elemental Bolt and cra uh, Toxic Mist. And then I just paint the highlights on right after that. So I don't dry brush. I literally paint all the areas, leaving the recesses still in that washy tone, that washy Elemental Bolt blue tone thing. And then I edge highlight like on the Scorpius here, which I'll show you once we get to the gimbal. Um, edge highlight the Scorpius here with a uh, toxic mist. So you can really see like, there on the gun there, all that stuff. And that's how you get the teal. It's tedious, takes a while, but the results, you got this very pretty color. 
Okay. I like it. What happened? So, I gave these guys plus one toughness yep. with my biophages, and none of them died in return. Aberrants? I did On the aberrants, yep. yep. I did pass both Psychic, Stimulus, and Might From Beyond on this aberrant squad. Okay. I smited you for two wounds here, and I just successfully cast Mental Onslaught. All right, so two wounds to me. Yep, so it should have like 11 left or so. That doesn't count at all. Uh, no, that was that was Mark trying to help making it worse. I was going down to do it, and you pushed. Yeah, sorry, 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 well, sorry. Maybe this shouldn't it's be right. in the he's, corner. He's already losing. Let's not kick him. Um, so you ready to do roll offs for mental onslaught? Yeah, I don't sure. know what your leadership is, but mine is eleven. Pretty sure mine's nine, but we'll find out. This is probably like a seven. If you roll a six, though, it'll stop. I rolled a five to a one. I stopped it that way. What's your leadership? Even if it's an eight, I stopped. Okay. <laughs> Okay. There's well, no way it's less wrong. than an eight. That's fine. I'm relatively confident it's going to die in close combat, so we're not really going to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that'll be it. So now it's the beginning of my shooting phase. Nick, what would you like to do at the beginning of the shooting That's phase? That's a great question. The question is, do I want to self-sacrifice on the sense? Mm -hmm. um, I still have range into all of them, so if he doesn't, I, I can... You can just kill my sense. To I be think... honest, though, they don't really have that much value in this match. Uh, and they would keep... No. I mean, they, they do, but you're right. not going to let me get the value out of them. Um, but as long as I have to play around You have around to play them. around them, that's true. Yeah. Two CP for self-sacrifice, that would bring me to six. Uh, I'll, uh, I just, I don't want you to do it and then shoot eliminators and then I have no value, so I'm trying to determine if you're going to shoot eliminators anyway. I think only two of the Ridge Runners can actually see eliminators and have ranged them. Are you sure they are? It's 36? 36. 36. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Then, then I'm not playing the guessing game, I'm okay. just going to self-sacrifice. So I'll try to steal one of Nick's command points here yep. on a five up. I don't, unfortunately, yep. so I'm still a five. Okay. But that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, mark that impulsor with uh, the alphas here. Yep. And we are going to start shooting it. We'll um, start off with this uh, three man yep. all the way on the left. There. So it's a two man, a two man, and a three man? Uh, well, now it's three, three, one because you killed three, one. Three, three, one. Okay. So these are the last cannons. So just five shots, hitting on threes and wounding on threes. Just one. Just one for it. over the shield zone, fails it. Just one. Just one. Not too crazy here. Last cannon spiky? No way. <laughs> That's okay. I'm down to six CP seeks. I've always said that the stubbers do the most damage. All right, so go ahead and take uh, five armor saves on five these. Armor saves. Yep. Threes. You weren't kidding. Three wounds. All right, I love it. So we're going to do the next... Um, Just did two. I did sure. three. You did three? Okay. Yeah. So. so we're going to do the next three into next it. Next three, yep. So these are the stubbers since I have it in my hands. Mm -hmm. This is very much the bulk of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not expecting to kill much beyond that point. Uh, seven more saves. Seven more saves. Seven for seven fails. Nope, only two. Down to three. five. Three. Three. Three, three. three, down to four. Stubbers have done six wounds to my impulsor. All right, well, there's more last cannons coming. Uh, eight Auto shots. shots. Okay. Hidden on threes, wounding on threes. Four more invuls. Four more invuls. Let's see if we can pop here. One goes through. One goes through. 50 50. Two, two damage. damage. He's down to two. It's unfortunate, but you know what? We've got another ridge runner here, yep. I believe. Mm -hmm. um, we'll actually take a pot shot with the office. Okay. It's. Oh, oh. one. Uh, Laz. One shot. shot. Hits. Hits. One wound. One wound, four up. Nope. That's a one. Do right. I die? Yes. Oh, I die. Do I explode? I don't think it matters. Does a no. guy, do guys die? Four more dice. Uh, nobody died nobody inside. Dies. All right. So we've still got some intercessors coming out here. <clears throat> yeah. And if he Nick wants, he can send these intercessors up pretty aggressively. I'm just kind of waiting to see how aggressively he wants to play them. I don't know how aggressively I want to play them either. Uh, did all these brothers advance? No, they didn't. Okay. So I don't want to take too many unnecessary shots. They're pretty much out of range. They're pretty much out of range, so I can just be in cover here okay. and do my thing. And all of a sudden, the aggression level on Justin. Of course. So we'll just shoot the um, auto cannons off of this guy into uh, that Eliminator squad. Not expecting much, but it might be fun. Uh, only one hit. One does not wound. Excellent. Okay. And I think that will... Um... Yeah, I shot all of the... Uh... So I think we're uh, good to go. Right. These aberrants are definitely not shooting. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll go ahead and declare a charge of these aberrants just on the impulsor. I'm not declaring the scouts because my plan is to wrap them. Yep. You don't so give me I don't want to give them shock assault. So, Excuse me, sir. I get to overwatch. Yeah, Thank you. Fine. That's right. Please that go fine. ahead. Thank you. Uh, oh, look at those work fires. Three hits. Look at them go. Master charge. 
Four is to one. Five is to one. Five. Thirty five. Five is five. I didn't get plus one attack. Yes, yeah, still good. Three wounds. AP wow, minus is... one. Three oh, fails. Oh my goodness. Look at him go. Ooh, he does kill kills an aberrant on Overwatch. Impulsor OP. Wow. What an impulsor. So I'm still going ten inches. Okay. So let's see here. Not really worried let's about. Otherwise, your hand would be shaky. So I just need to put a model right there in order to trap him, as long as I also have one right there. Yeah, sure. So it's pretty... So as long as I'm right there, I'm definitely closer to that spot than I am to yep, yep, Impulsor. Right. Although, actually, I'm going to go a lot closer than that just to make sure that he doesn't disembark to stop my consolidates. Let's do your thing. This is Damn. not war room stuff. I know. I'm just. I don't want you to. I don't want him to do we that. We do and detail then you burn that stuff me. in super high detail in the war room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna have to break John of that habit. <laughs> Over here, we're just playing for funsies and your entertainment, which is why I'm gonna kill all these aberrants next turn in real wonderful fashion. I would be utterly shocked by that. So let's see. Over here, he could come charge me with some stuff. You have the plus two to charge. Oh, I do. All right. So I'm just gonna go like that to make sure that I'm not giving the centurions like anything other than like a 12 inch charge. Just kidding, they can't declare me. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and swing all these aberrants on this impulsor. Mm -hmm. So I did pass my from beyond, fortunately. And I'm currently strength um, seven. Noob. All right, over here. Now, last time I played... These are my hammers. One of the last games I played with GSC <gasps> was a Nova Open. And I lost it because my full unit of aberrants couldn't kill a wave server. This is tougher to kill than a wave server. So, uh... You know, you yeah, but know. my aberrants are better than yours. That's true. What are these? Uh, those are invuls. These are invuls. Uh, two go through. Six damage. Wow. What was that? It was a thunder hammer. You have a thunder hammer? I have two. You would. What? <laughs> I'm down to. Do you three. know why it's there next? So that I can kill wave serpents. That's rude. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna hit him with all these power picks. Appreciate you, Miss Nugget. Thank you so much. <laughs> Excuse me for your generous donation. Same time. Thank you. Where's the Primus? Nine inches. Oh, you got the nine inch aura? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. So take four more invulns. Just four invulns. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Time yeah. to fail them all. Failed two. Average. Can't complain about that. It's just died anyway. Just I explode, please. No. You want to command point that? No. no. Five guys inside. Cracked on that three. And oh, one died. Just one? Just one. Okay, so four guys get out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I get to do my thing first. You literally... I okay. have to disembark, do I right, not? Right, right, okay, right, okay. Do your thing, do your so thing. So we're going to try to get some cheekiness here going. So we are... It's not really going to work. What I was trying to do is I can get... If I can get all the way out here, you'd have to consolidate backwards. You're done. So let's go over here. Ooh, he's going to come try to beat up a character, it looks like. And get some stuff going. Where's my sergeant? I need an intercept. Well, he's this guy. He's got a hammer. He doesn't actually have a hammer, but salamanders like hammers. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we're just gonna go. Boop. Boop. So I just want to pin this scout in, and we'll use this opportunity to move closer to back up a little bit from his lines. I just want to make sure that he doesn't have easy charges with anything. So now what I could do here is I could engage these intercessors. I am toughness five, and I don't really want him to get to shoot and then charge a character. So I think I am actually going to just... He's going to engage my intercessors. Engage the intercessors. All right. I'm I... toughness five right now. So Nick, he he'll, he might punch one out, but I don't think it's going to be just crazy damage either. Yeah, you would uh, You wouldn't. So I'm just going to punch go over here. Well, I really just don't think you're willing to spend the command points to make them win better. Maybe. We'll find out soon. So we'll start with the intercessors. Salamanders. Success. And this is where it's going to even out five from his storms. crazy impulsor. Two armor saves. Yes, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna fail one. Takes one. Takes one. All right, and then the so wounded go. one. Two, four, six, eight. Plus the sergeant. Mm -hmm. Time pass. Scouts are angry. Sure. And fives. I like it. I like it. It's gonna be five armor saves. Oh, that's pretty good. Ugh. Five failed saves. And two Ooh, dead aberrants. Two dead aberrants. That actually hurts. Killed three and a half aberrants so far. Yeah, it hurts a lot more than I was expecting there. 
That's what happens when you don't have faith in the Gene Stealer cults. I did have faith in them. I have faith in them. Right. Who won Best Gene Stealer Cult last year? Was it you? No, it was me. Okay. That was me. And I was, and I won Best Space Marines. Let's switch armies right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you owe me morale check, sir. I killed three. Your leadership seven. Yep. I will take one more for Ooh, free. Ooh, that's so painful. Yeah, doesn't losing average to morale suck? Yeah, it does. It does. Life before. That's okay. I still have six left. Yeah, that's so... not ten. <laughs> yeah, it's not ten. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll take another kill hold bonus. Kill hold bonus. Okay. Okay. So my turn. This sounds like a job for a handy dandy bike captain. Mm-hmm. In there. You gonna leave those intercessors there? I don't know. Tell me. Yes. Do you have any secondary points? Um, I don't think so. I I took oh recon. Took recon behind enemy lines. Um, I definitely have behind enemy lines. Um, I should get just two points this turn. I'm just one, just don't one. don't have any. You can change that if you want, I don't care. Okay. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> now it's you have kind one. Of me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so I, def I probably should have pushed something into the center there, but I think I'll be able to get some uh, good recon points pretty soon, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Ooh, oh. are the Eliminators gonna come They might too? even come in to smack you a little bit, but mm -hmm. even just the Aberrants fighting when they die, uh, I don't like that, so probably not. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Over here, we could go for a charge and just tag a bunch of Ridge Runners. So mm -hmm. I think they'll do that. Okay. Sounds lovely. This is just a one man. And that's, that's three. And one, three. two, three. They're modeled by the guns. One, two, one, two three. three. Okay. So you'd have to. This is the next one to tag. All right. So it's pretty far. Yeah. I mean, it's possible if you roll a good charge, though. But I could also obsec this objective, which mm -hmm. will give me two. The John's two for hold the same. Not realistic for me to really get hold more, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yeah, but if he can deny me points, that'll be good for him. Yep. Or I could just shoot this Ridge Runner Squad with sense. Um, go pull this guy, that'd be annoying. Mm -hmm. um, and then you might fail the charge, and then you might not. And uh... then I might fail the charge and all that jazz. Can move the chaplain up and give myself plus two to charge, that would help. Mm -hmm. uh, Got a lot of options here. I don't know if I want to attack the chaplain mm -hmm. like that. Chapel I'm really please. excited for the, uh, the aberrants to hit, hit this guy right here. Yeah, I think face. I'm just going to mind my own business and set up a screen here. Okay. Because Nick does know that I do have one more turn of Acolytes coming in. Yep, so if I can slow that down just a little bit, that'll mm -hmm. make my life a little bit easier. But they're not advancing, right? Nope. Okay. These guys will leave. Yep. I'll also set up that screen for a future turn. All not, right. Not die to the fight on death nonsense. I like it. Um. Okay. Let's do... Adrax is pretty chill. Lieutenant's pretty chill. Sniper scouts. Can hey there. probably there. dunk that primus no there. problem, or I can just take that biophagus out. Freshly he doesn't painted really models. Matter. He has no respect really for matter. them. No, no them. respect for those. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. It's I'm not. glad we agree. Oh, oh okay. Uh, Incursors could come out. Start making some moves. Ooh, Incursors coming. Patriarch's kind of scary, but I don't really no, care. no, Patriarch's not anything. They're harmless and gentle creatures. The curses are also pretty chill. I don't know. I could pop mm -hmm. smoke this turn and keep them safe for a little while. This squad's a pretty good screen for some last skins, especially when you kill a bunch of those. Yeah. They're just going to walk over here. Uh, I don't think I need to move too much. I think I'm You're pretty, pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Okay, uh, I like it. I'll move my librarian out. Ooh. You're getting this guy coming up. He's thinking, probably thinking he's going to try to smite me. He's going to go for a smite, I think. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Uh... Eliminators are chill. They got 36 out this way. Sense, so just move forward. Do, do, do. That grinding. It, that's way more than four inches. It's okay. okay, they all have range of this guy. Yeah, it, totally. Um, Who got your plus one to hit? Was it the Scorpius again? Scorpius again. That Scorpius is uh, going to end up being fairly annoying, folks. And we'll just move these incursors out. We may okay. take some pot shots. Why not? Mm -hmm. I love it. Be a screen for these scents. Nice. Nick has enough to aspect scan, so engaging the centurions would be very difficult for me. Yep. Gotta respect that. Yep. Um, okay, so let's do some psychic face stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll start with a casual smite on these aberrants. Casual one. Casual smite passes. All right, Six. so we're just gonna let it go. Not too worried. It's gonna be two mortals. All right, so we'll take a feel no pain. I do make one. Takes a wound. All right, I'll take it. Um, then we're gonna go for a. Uh, plus one toughness onto that smash captain, which fails on a five, I'm pretty sure. That's okay, too. Mm -hmm. I don't need that. So what is his toughness right now? 
Uh, he is tough in seven still. Yep. Seven's pretty good, though. Seven, seven and minus one to wound. Yeah. So let's go to the shooting phase. Okay. Let's start off with... Uh, let's start off with these scents. You don't have anywhere else to go into this rejoinder unit. All right. Let's Do see. I want to use plus one to wound here? I Ooh. think so. I think I will. Interesting. It's going to just be more. This is a unit of, of three, right? Yeah. And John it. steals it. So he's at six and I'm at five CP. Twelve. I'll get more value out of it there than pretty much anywhere else, I'm pretty sure. Because I am in tactical doctrine as well. Six more? How many more do you need? Uh, six more for this. Great. We have to roll it all at once because that's what we do here. Uh huh. Absolutely. So threes to hit, re rolling ones. Very nice. Good thing. There's a couple ones in there. Yep. And we're rolling one of our yeah. twos for Salamander. So the weight of dice is actually a Ooh. pretty good way to take out Ridge Runners. Uh, he certainly should do some good damage to me here. That's the goal. Not with those hits, though. Yeah. Well, I'm okay with that. It's less than one third hits, and I'm re rolling ones and twos. <laughs> Fours to wound, though. Re rolling ones for Lieutenant. And re rolling one of my twos for Salamanders. Okay. And that's going to be a whole bucket of minus one AP saves. All right. So I'm just going to get a five of armor against this, but I do have a six of feeling no pain. Mm hmm. So, I might not lose one. We'll see. I probably will, actually, looking at that. All right, so let's take some six-ups. Will like the warp fires bless me? Uh, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Eight, so, I will lose one. Lose one and, one and take, take one. some more. I will now pull that closer one, just yep. so that if Nick tries to charge me, um, it'll be a little harder. Uh, okay. Right, there we go. All right, keep them coming. So, now I'm actually... I have a choice. I can do Eliminators... Um, Intercessor and Rapid Fire for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, or Eliminators could go character killing. Um, I think these are the threat. The characters can really... I, I just don't care. Yeah. But these Sniper Scouts don't have anywhere better to go. So they'll just do... They'll yeah. try to knock out that Biophage just, just to yeah, get I the kill. I think that Biophage just... He, he kind of played his role. He did his job. So not the end of the world. He dies. Reroll ones. Reroll one of my twos for Salamandas. Mm -hmm. And threes to wound. Rerolling ones, rerolling one of my twos, five twos in that batch. Uh, cocked is going to be five armor saves, just regular. Okay. So we'll see if we can make some of these. We make do. Two. All right. So not too shabby there. Not bad, but he's still alive. But certainly an Eliminator squad could finish him off if uh, Nick yeah. decided to put his so, attention there. John so far has got kill two units. Hmm? I think I'm going to let John, I'm not going to fight John and kill more. I'm just going to focus on killing a unit this turn. Um, and really just, uh, getting, clearing through all the junk and then worrying about kill more later. So yeah, let's do squad of eliminators at this rejoiner unit. Uh, reroll ones. Mm -hmm. Didn't help. Well, he's just doing his direct fire shots here. Yep. Direct fire, fives to wound, reroll one of those. One wound, minus two. All right, we'll take a save. Nope, go ahead. D3 will be one damage. Feel no pain, fail that too. All right, so that's not too efficient apparently. So let's just knock out the biofad just for the next squad. Okay, you doing direct fire or? Direct fire, yep. Three hits. That is the reroll. And threes to wound, reroll one of those. It'll be three wounds minus two. Okay, and then that's the end of him. Okay. So we did get a kill. Um, there we go. Whatever that's worth. Very nice. Let's do some rapid fire over here mm -hmm. with the five intercessors plowing into these. Bridge runners. Yep. Ten shots. Be threes. Salamanders. And fives. Salamanders. Okay, three did, minus two. And this is what these intercessors. These are these intercessors. That's right three here. minus two. Yep. So I do fail all, all three, three saves, and all three feel no pains. So we are. He is chipping away at this bridge runner squad. Which is yep. A little annoying, unfortunately. So there's a there's a one and a half, a three, and, and a, a one. one. Yep. Okay. So let's do this bike captain Ooh. downtown with these Brood Brothers. Actually, okay. we'll try to knock out this Goliath. No, no, not the Goliath. Goliath truck's going down. Uh, Four hits. Got a combi bolt to here. Just fives, yeah. but I am only a one wound goon. Real one of those. All one right. wound, minus one. Ooh, Ooh six up. Warp fire, bless no. me. Oh, Does no. he explode? No. Does not. Okay, Goliath truck down. So let's kill two units. So we're tied as of now, yep. but John's aberrants. Might take some stuff with them as they fight when they die. Mm. We'll have to see. What else do I have? I have a Scorpius, and I have some Incursors. Let's do the Incursors, see if they have ranged anybody. We got three. Okay. okay. Three Incursors. All right. Salamandas. He loves saying hits. it. You gotta say you need it. need those fives? Not yet. Reroll Let's... one of those, and reroll one of those. Who's one wound minus one. Uh oh, who's the lieutenant? Who's this guy? Oh. 
No, like one, who, one. who is the lieutenant? It is this guy. He's not in range, oh, the so I just oh, rerolled wow. it. I yeah. assumed he was librarian. Yeah, so one wound. One wound? Yeah. I do fail it, and... Hey, yeah, he makes it. I have no idea what this is. You're zero three still. So let's do a Scorpius first volley here. All right. Let's see what I, I can, can take do. It. It's going to be just five shots or four, four shots. Just four. Twos to hit. Reroll ones. And then threes to wound. Reroll ones. And reroll one of my two salamanders. Uh, four you... wounds. Okay. So four uh, saves. Yep. Minus two. All right. So, so six four damage. damage on the first guy. Kills him. And Kill the next one. All right. All right. Ooh, we might be able to finish this Ridge Runner off. And we're going to try it. I'd be sad. Does he explode? Uh, could. Yes. He could. He no. And then on that one, ooh, six, ooh. seven, eight. Nice. Four. That's pretty good right there for Nick. Yep. Need to uh, not roll quite that well. Oh, okay. So is that seven hits? Yeah, seven hits. Still pretty threes. bad for me. Oh. Reroll ones and Salamanders. Ooh. And All this right. is why I need to play Arnie's with 100 rerolls. Six. six minus two. All right, let's take some saves. Ooh, John Dice. So take six damage. Six damage. Can we get no warp fires here? Three warp fires. That was six warp fires on 12 dice. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> That's, gotcha. That's what I'm here for, guys. All right, so I think we're going to do some charging. Okay. Let's do the bike captain into right. the aberrants. Well, there's no overwatch here, so let's see it. Not eight inches. Nice, so. nice. John started to put his wounds over here, so I'm gonna make him continue to do so. We're gonna want to spread him out then. I think I want to spread him out then. Okay. So we'll go over here. Um, we'll base both of these two. Nice. Um, that way they can't pile in and consolidate into these when mm -hmm. they finally die. And Anyone else want to charge? And I think that's gonna be it for my charge. Okay. So real quick question for you. Um, what are what are his offensive stats like? I know he's a tough cookie. He's just a smash captain offensive. So he's five attacks. Five attacks. He's got a salamander reroll. He's a captain. Salamander rerolls. You'd wound me on threes. You have a thunder hammer or thunder, thunder hammer. Thunder hammer. So he could kill a couple here. I'm gonna go ahead and spend the two to fight on death here, just so that every dead aberrant is gonna at least get some value. Yep. And this might save me from having to interrupt. So threes to hit. Reroll on ones. Huh? On this one. And then salamanders on two. Very nice. All right. All right, and then threes to wound. Threes to wound, and salamanders will be uh, three damage each, five go through. All right, so it'll be two damage each. Yep, so on the first so one. So the first guy is the going to die. So he can attack when he's dead in a minute. Yep. Uh, he, yeah. Yeah, it just, yeah. So then the next one next one's two damage. is dead. Okay. How many total was it? Five. Ooh, five that's dead. bad. Yep. Next guy's wounded, so and then... He kills him, so that's three dies. dead. There's one save left to take. Good. Doesn't care at all. All right. Okay, so all these are just gonna hit those scouts with million attacks. Yep. So let's see what they can get done here. So first guy, he'll just do his uh, power pick. Mm -hmm. Two hits because I think I went out of primus range with my consolidate. Uh, it's still gonna be two six ups. Two six ups. Hey, one more fire. All right, and then the next one. Um, just one more AP dash. He's good. All right, and then the next guy will do his hammer. Three hits. And three die. Oh, there's one guy left. And then the last guy will do his power pick. Uh, one AP2. Nope. Let's do the scouts. All right. So at least I was able to kill another unit there. Yep. So now you can activate your aberrants. Yep. And that meant, and popping those two command points means I'm not, uh, not even pretending to interrupt here. So let's just Ooh. go in. All right. So now how much damage can I do to this captain? He's six, five wounds. He's five. He's six, six wounds, wounds on the bike. Yeah, it's right. He's on the bike. Toughness seven minus one to wound. Okay. Let's, um, let's do the big attack first. That's going to be the one that has the best odds. This is the hammer. Yep. So, so I hits. don't think yeah, I'm not in the primus. Just eyeballing it. Let me just check. Yeah, that's, not, uh, that's like 10. All right. So there's three hits. Mm -hmm. uh, wounding on three is because I'm strength 14, yep. but I'm minus one to wound. All right. Two, two wounds. wounds. There's right. one. Three damage. Flat three. All right. He's down to uh, three. Okay, let's do all these, <laughs> all these power picks, and only fives here. I'm strength seven. He's tough into seven. Two more intervals. Two more intervals. Loves it. And then all these rending claws. Mm -hmm. Fives again. One more save. One more. Loves it. Loves it. All right, this guy's alive. So the question is, do I want to fight one or fight twice now? It'll knock me down to two CP. John's mm -hmm. already regen. There's not much left I can do with 2 CP, but honestly, we're at the point where I'm running out of things I need to spend my CP on. I think killing the Aberrants is the most important, so I'm going to spend it. Okay. I'm down to 2. Uh, Reroll 1s. be 5 hits this time. All right. 3s to 1s. Stupid T5. Oh, uh, only 2, two. go through. First two damage one. 2 damage. 
kills a guy dead. outright, and then wounds dead. another. So he just kills one. Act so act. not the best CP usage. All right, so I'm actually going to... No. What? Oh, you don't get to pull my house. house. What are you doing? Just We're going to pull the hammer guy, because oh. I want to really try to kill this guy so that the survivors can then go charge someone else. Yep. So here we go. Because Nick just has to fail. Ugh. One of these saves. He, he does. does. Do I want to CP that? Going down to Bring one down is down rough because Nick has a lot of two command points. I have, I have self sacrifice, which I don't want to waste. From a uh, theory wise, though, I killed six aberrants this turn. Uh, five. Five. Okay, so the leadership two on a four plus, they're just going to die. Yep. On a three, one dies. If John spends two of his CP to auto pass morale, he doesn't have enough to perfect ambush. Uh, mm -hmm. I alternatively could let myself die. But when I die, just knock them right out. Mm, then yeah, I'm at a CP. Yep. And the Ridge Runners are still five Ridge Runners. This is not insignificant. Um, I think I'm just going to let him go down. All right. I'm let, the, let John decide what happens here. So he owes me a morale check. I have to consolidate first. So I cannot. Uh, no, you cons already activate. That's fighting when you die. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So no consolidate at all. All right. So is that just it then? That's it then. So All right, so there. need a one or a two to be really happy. It's a two. He's really happy. Sounds really happy. Not what I wanted. All right. Okay. So um, I imagine by this point. So I got kill a unit, hold an objective. Yep. John did kill more. And hold more. John held more. He's. Did you pick Reaper? Yeah. Uh, you probably I should have at least one. one Reaper. At least one. Um. So kill, hold, uh, Reaper. Mm -hmm. Or John got a Reaper. I probably also have a Reaper, and then I got a, two giving game hunters at least. I'm pretty sure. Um, and the reason I'm so glad that that guy is dead is because it really opens up my perfect ambushes. Does it? This... Yeah, can't I just go right here? It's like, oh, just perfect away. ambush. Oh, librarian's yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Little, uh, killing a librarian is important to me. All right. All right. So now I kind of have to plan out what I want to really do this turn. Because I really want to just do enough damage to Nick to try to knock him over. Please um, knock me over. I'm going to try. Because he's going to have to keep the Centurions alive. But then they'll be the only real threat yeah. left. All right, so his librarian is right here. So I need to kind of decide if I want to move that Magus up to Psychic Stimulus them. I think I do. I guess. Plus, uh, there are these lovely guys here that I can do some Mortal Wound stuff onto. So we'll go ahead. Um, I'm just going to measure out my nines to see where I might bring in these. So you have two one-man Ridge Runners and all three-man still? Yep. Okay, that's correct. And I could go hit those Incursors. Oh, I really can't, actually. Don't forget, I can still uh, intercept you. He you still can. He still could just uh, pick up those poor, poor acolytes with those hurricane bolts if he really wanted to. So unfortunately, Nick does have me pretty well screened out over here, so I can only can only hit so much. Oh, John didn't get hold more last turn. Oh, you did. What? You did. I forgot I'm three. You're on one. I'm on two, but also I oh, thought okay. I took right, the so middle from you. So it was a miscounted. I counted immediately. Why do you have to jump down my throat? Let's be positive here. <laughs> okay, Nick. <laughs> All right. So I'll start moving the stuff that I know about while I think about these acolytes. Let's just uh, advance this um, abominant. All right, he's going to go 15. So that last three no. CIP I spent worked out terribly for me, but I don't think that's like going to make or break the game. I mean, it could, but it's definitely mm. not like I'm out or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the end of the world for Nick. I don't know, Nick swung in there and I just hold C for the next turn swing into the I, I was just talking about that. I, I was just talking. I didn't think I'd be able to swing when I die because I was worried that he was going to smite me out with his Magus and his Patriarch. Mm -hmm. I only had three wounds left. He could very easily make it, so that was the closest visible thing. So these intercessors are kind of in the wall. Uh, it's probably still a mistake. Only acknowledging that. Life sucks. We make mistakes. So it can't be okay. But uh didn't work out at all. At least I would have liked to trade for the Aberrants. Didn't get that kill out. Mm -hmm. That's Nick Rose in the chat, by the way. I know. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> Stupid Rose. What? I like Nick. Nick's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. More words. All right. So I kind of need to pick what I'm going to be shooting with these Ridge Runners. I think I'm going to just be pretty comfortable trying to shoot these Incursors to death, and I might be able to go uh, beat up those Intercessors with this Patriarch here. It's kind of my thought process, but I still haven't really decided where my Acolytes are going to go. Unfortunately, this terrain piece is actually blocking me a little more than I thought. So it's I'm blocking me too from falling back. It's yep, really yep, annoying. Yep. So it went, it went both ways there, certainly. So I am going to have to make some tougher choices with them. 
um i think we'll let's see we'll um go ahead and advance this magus so going a healthy 15 inches i just need to be outside of 24 with that person so i'm just doing this to make sure that nick cannot block my deny the witch just because um I really need to pass Psychic like, Stimulus in order to connect with these Aberrants. And they'll go ahead and advance next. Um, so they're going to go... Oh, I rolled two dice. Let's try it again. All right. They're going to go pretty healthy 13 inches there. Really, I just want these guys to come connect and try to thin down these Eliminators. I'm not expecting too much more from them. So again, let me just make sure I'm trailing one guy back within 18 of that Magus. We're just going to hope that Nick does not go crazy hot on Overwatch with this. I would uh, like to kill that guy on Overwatch. Also, I have to do my chaplain stuff. No, I'm going to stay in Tactical Doctrine. Ooh, interesting. I'm going to give plus two advance and charge again. Mm -hmm. And reroll that for Master Sanctity. Yep. Passes. And I could do the Intervention uh, Salamander's trait. Slitney, I do have that one. Um, but I think I'm going to stick with plus one to hit on the Scorpius. Uh, I'm just feeling that one right now. Very nice. Okay. So let's, um, advance this clam of us. We've got the Great Wall of GSC right behind me here. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you gonna do something about these intercessors? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking I was just gonna shoot them off with the, um, the all drivers. these last cannons here. Yeah. I think that'd be a pretty safe way to... I would deal definitely deal with them. It should do a lot. We'll, we'll hope that it's enough. Um, mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and advance this Rebrother squad. So really, uh, I still haven't decided where that Acolyte squad's going. That's kind of the tough choice I have to make right now. Well, thank you so much for your generous donation, Nurgle, Matt. That was amazing. 25 more subs. You absolutely dominated today. What is that? Over 100 subs in one day. Thank you so much for all your generosity. Uh, as always, the number one gifter of subs and the one donor of bits, which I don't think anyone's mm -hmm. really donated too much this month, uh, get to pick the next stream match for next month, which very well might be in ninth edition. So you want to see us play whatever armies you want in a brand new world of ninth edition? Maybe start donating. Yep. Maybe not fight Ergo Matt on this wonderful <laughs> hype train he's generated for this sub status, but that bits donations is still very there. Um, Dark One said he traded the sense for aggressors and. They make us look stupid silly. Relentless determination is so strong. Yeah, I have aggressors that need to be built and painted sitting on my to-do list. Uh, one day they will get done. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually not going to perfect ambush my acolytes this turn. Ooh. Um, I really want to have some more threats that only the Scorpius can deal with. Because then that means the Scorpius isn't dealing with anything else. But I'm still setting it up so that I've got a uh, an 8-inch charge out of reserves into these guys. Which means I'm probably going to change my plans up and um, see if I need to send maybe the Patriarch over there. And that means that these Ridge Runners will probably be shooting something downfield like those Centurions, unless Nick decides to spend the very rest of his command points. Which I might. Which he might. So we're just going to make that a pretty darn short charge. Just want to make sure I'm not giving him anything easy with the Sniper Scouts. But it's still like a 4-inch charge thanks to this Clam of Us. All right, and I think um, that's me with... Oh, no, I have one more Broodbrother squad, actually. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I know, I'm just dropping them all just over Just dropping here. Brood Brothers, dropping so. like it's hot. All right. This is part of it. This is actually the Neophyte squad, not the Brood Brothers. Means I get plus one to charge here. Of course you do. Of course Leaving you a very do. acolyte sized hole. How can you even tell? I play GSC and they look exactly the same. No, they as don't. It's, you, you can look at the heads or the weapons or the legs or any other part of the model. Nerd! But I'm just being specific here. Nerd! Oh my god, Halo. Can you put this everything. down so I can talk about it? No. I can just. Alright, alright. Right, 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 right. How many did you just get? 25 more. Hey, Matt Nurgle, Matt, I, I don't know. 144 subs in one day. This is by far a stream record. I think Halo was 176 all time for donations. And you are doing, you, one day, one day. Thank you so much. 
You're like, oh, man, I, I mean, now you're speaking a different language, but you speak whatever language you want. It's fine. You are you are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm ready when you are, Nick. Uh, I'm not ready. I'm right. congratulating Nerdle Matt. You should say thank you, John. Thank it's not just me. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Nerdle Matt. You're the best. You I, want, so I want to know who Nerdle John, Matt donated John does, for. John doesn't pocket. care about donations. He cares about 40K. All right, well, I passed Nurgle psychic Matt, stimulus. I shall bring the Nurgle for you. Ooh, Ooh, we got a perils. What are you casting right here? That was Might from Beyond. The double ones, perils on Might from oh, Beyond. No. I might re-roll it just because I really want these aberrants to get more kills done on these intercessors. It's very unfortunate. So this is the re-roll. I do pass. He does pass. And then uh, I he don't keep regen. it, so I'm down to three. Yep. That oh, was so one. unfortunate. That and then we're three. just going to smite over here with the pitcher. He passes on a nine. He's probably in deny range if you want to try it. I'll see what happens. It doesn't matter. We'll do three mortal wounds to this uh, intercessor squad right here. It's right there, right there. Oh, that page. This page arc, yeah, he's not. Good point. Two. All right. And give me a dice. Thank you. Let's you decide we want it. And then um, this page arc is going to cast uh, mass hypnosis. Yep. Which will fail on a five. Eight. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Ooh, Moose Nugget's dicking, doing uh, 2,000 bits for how... Oh, Moose Nugget, I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. All right, Nick, it's the shooting phase. You want to hide uh, those centurions from me? How many bits have you donated? 4,000 bits to Moose Nugget. All right, well, he's hey. dominating the bits donation, so hopefully right. he'll get to pick a match from next week. I think he was our number one donor bits last month, so thank you so much for that, and Moose Nugget, maybe you won two months in a row. Woo! You want to uh, do anything at the beginning of my shooting phase? You're going to save those centurions for another turn? Yep. Yep. All right. Nick's doing it. Once I get rid of the Ridge Runners, Ooh. which I am chipping away pretty quick at, yep. then um, I no longer have to spend my CP keeping them alive. They're just yep. going to be alive. It makes sense. I can't shoot these Centurions this turn. All right. So the Alphys is then just going to mark that Incursor unit. Yep. All righty. Here. Let's, um, let's see what we want to do. Um, so just shooting phase. Um, we're just going to start off with um, one Ridge Runner into the Incursors. Okay. We'll just do, um, they're all in cover, so let's just do last cannon. Two shots, two hits, yep. two wounds, two kill both. Two. First one kills four. a guy. All right, four feeling pain. No, I don't. And then kills three. a guy. Kills a guy. All right. All right. One, two stubbers. Uh, just two saves. Two two ups. Well, All right, we're good. And we'll do the uh, next ridge runner. Yep. Three shots. Mm -hmm. Three hits. Three wounds. This is because I forgot to pop smoke launchers that turn, but I'm good oh, on my saves. Oh, made all so three saves. Matter. Look at them go. And the this stubbers. is where I lose two guys to stubbers. Uh, or, nope. or not. <laughs> and then we'll do the last ridge runner unit. Yep. Um, Laz is five. five. Three hits. Three hits. This isn't so bad. Three more wounds. Three wounds. Can I do it again. Two go through. First one. one kills and kills. Yep. All right. And then we'll dump all these stubbers. All righty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just take um, eight more. Eight armor more. Saves. Armor saves. So he hasn't failed any yet. So now's the time where he's gonna. Takes fail. one. What? Should have taken two. Oh, would you stop? Please. All you right. Know, your stubbers killed an impulsor. Yeah. Well, you know that was actually average. That was average. Yes. It, it was impulsive. Stubbers are really good impulsors. All right. So we're just gonna shoot. Can, can someone fact check this man? No, that's actually. <laughs> when you shoot that many stubbers, it, it adds up. 18 stubbers it'll do uh, us mercy we you are welcome all lennon it is fine i look like john lennon meets harry <laughs> potter so we would be bros thanks guys okay <laughs> well you guys would be bros with miracle mad take uh two saves on these what happened here this. these are just what do you should guys. acknowledge when i'm talking to you about the chat john no all right take miracle a, mad. john saves. doesn't appreciate you two pass them both all right cool all right. Uh, we'll I'm just, just going to ignore what you say for the yeah, rest of the game and talk to the stream. That's how it feels to be our loving patrons. Okay. <laughs> we'll shoot the alpha set, the incursors. Hits. Uh, it's a one. So what's the chat saying? Well, John's rolling dice and I'm not paying attention to. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So let, let me listen to you. It was this zero. Oh, well, that's okay. even better. I passed it twice. All right. <laughs> you ready, Nick? Oh, you can bring, please, please bring out the London puns, punks, punk fox. Don't, don't be ashamed. The London puns? The London puns. There, are they puns or are they Whatever you want to call them, okay. puns, jokes, memes, okay. just bust out the internet on his butt. Okay. All right, so um, over here we've got this. Primaris Lieutenant. Yep. Uh, Adrax. Yep. Two, two eliminator eliminate squads. All right, so I think we're just going to charge both eliminator squads with, um, with this. Siegs, can we get, grab the gimbal real quick? Those guys right there. Uh, so, so just the Eliminators? Just the two Eliminator right. squads. First Eliminators. Shots. 
And right, Salamander reroll. Nope. And Second the round. Next squad. He's changing the dice. This could be good for him. Salamander reroll. No. Eight enough. dice, no sixes. All right. Why are you doing me like this, Wapaya? So that was very strange, Nick. I um, just do accents sometimes. Okay. So we're just gonna. So now, ooh, what I could do is I could just hit both squads and then just do a fight on death. Good. You have three CP left. Yeah, that would be easier for me than doing a fight twice. Mm -hmm. That's my point. Do you have any other charges you want to do before you decide yeah, this stuff? Yeah, so for right now, we're just going to do that. I know Nick's not interrupting. We're going to start off with um, this Acolyte squad declaring a charge on those intercessors. Hiya. All right, so here we come. Two hits on the Dover. Uh, two just hits. Two. Two, two AP twos. Yep, two AP two. Two um, so dead two, two, uh, We'll die. Right. Fail. Fail the charge. All right. Come. Gonna... All right. Come the Acolytes. All right. Let's do it. We uh ooh three hits so far. Okay. Salamander. Four hits. Look at that conversion. Oh my goodness. Here Three's it comes. Three to wound. Four AP twos. Oh, that's so bad. All right. So um, yes. Are they all in cover? They're in cover. Six all ups. Right. Six ups. Nope. nope. Four not down. Gonna save me. Very much appreciated. All right. So there's only eight left. Ooh, should still probably kill my intercessors because Roxas are stupid. Mm. But I, I have will to make the charge first. Does make my life easier. Don't. Ooh, one. Not Stay making guys. that. He's not making that charge, folks. That's unfortunate. All right. All right, so um, now I might send the Patriarch over there just to try to murder them. Uh, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to go ahead and just charge this Patriarch in right there. All right, well, let's get some more Overwatch going. Mm -hmm. Am I within six to toss a crack grenade? Let's find out. I actually hope not. I am. <laughs> Make that in this front. Crack grenade. Yep. Salamander. Nope. Oh. All right. Two, three, four bolt rifles. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, oh, so it's an eight-inch charge with the Clamavis, so he's just going to go get right on that inch there. Oh, oh, oh just falling oh. over while we're at it. Right on that inch there. Yep. All right, and now we're going to charge a bunch of dudes into um, these. So we'll start with um, these ten brood... Or, they advanced. We'll start with these ones. Hiya. And Salamander, one hit. All right. And Salamander, one minus two. One minus two? You going to save? Uh, no. no. Okay. This one dies. <laughs> Good call. Okay, pull that one. okay. All right. So then the charge roll for them, very mighty. It's 11 inches. 11 inches. They're going places in life. All right. We are definitely going to be wrapping these friends. Right. They're looking to do some stuff with these things. Very rude. Mm -hmm. And he's going to punch out a lot of them. But he's I don't think try. he's going to punch out all of them. You're definitely going to try. Yep. So this is the super scary Patriarch? He's the super scary one. Okay. We'll charge the Patriarch in here. Mm-hmm. So six inches will be plenty. Yep. I'm just going to move your wound dice out. Okay. So bop, bop. I don't know how you're going to have. I think you're just going to kill me. Well, I'm not going to Oh, I had two more him. shots. I didn't see that. I missed both. Okay. I wasn't actually planning on um, doing the fun part. And we'll just uh, charge the Magasin as well. Why not? Um, eight Whee! inches. Whee! Boop, just going to touch with that familiar. Go right there. Alrighty. So, uh, I know Nick isn't interrupting here. So, I've got some opportunities. We'll go ahead and start off with this Patriarch here. All right, so we're going to hit this Interceptor squad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All righty. Mm -hmm. Six hits. Yep. Wounding on threes, but I'm re-rolling my wound rolls. Oh, sixes are so mean. All right. So three of them are just going to die flat out because yep. those are damage four. And then two six-up saves. Makes one Makes of them. Makes one. So he's just taking up, and it's damage up plus D3 one, so D3. So four die. So I will leave my sergeant, sergeant on the objective. Oh, it's annoying. All right. And I'll just consolidate a little closer to these guys. Try to get a little further back. Yep. All right. Next thing is um, we're going to attack you with, uh, I think we'll just go with these um, aberrants. So how many okay. of these eliminators can I kill? I think, um, let's see. How about, what have I killed this turn? You've killed. Have I gotten a kill? Nothing yet. Okay. So in that case, I'm just going to put two into one. Two into one unit of eliminators. Right, so you're not engaging the second one? I'm not right engaging now? them okay. at the moment. Oh. So this is the, the number Are shot. Are you popping fight when you die? I don't think you would uh, really do enough. All right, so this is the power picks. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, so four, four AP twos. 
Uh, two go through. All right. So uh, do six of female pains here. First, so first one, one is two. two. No warp fire there. Second one is three. No warp fires there. Two down. All right. And then these are the claws. Now ignore P minus four one hits. Here. Yep, he sure so, does. But he rolls three runs. All right. Three, just six of female pains. Uh, he still dies. Okay. So he did so kill in one air squad. We are gonna go ahead and engage these eliminators. I think. Try just to in try case to keep I me survive. from shooting. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, what else is next? Um, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just start with um, this patriarch here. Yep. He's just gonna make six generic punches. Yep. So just take uh, two armor just saves. Two if regular you armor saves. Trying to wrap me. You're golden. Shot. Oh, uh, guy dies. Guy dies. Okay. All right. All right. And then um, bunch of rude brother punches. Yep. That's about it. So just eight guys. Mm-hmm. I'm really uh, not expecting this to kill all of these uh, all of these intercessors, but crazy things, nope, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> okay, so just what? Nope, nope, actually right. zero. So I'll punch back over here. I did get charged, yep. so I have a bunch of attacks into Brood Brothers. That didn't help, but I have Salamanders. Ooh, oh, four, four hits. hits. All right. Threes to rerolling. Yeah, we're both staying alive threes here. Threes to wounds. Oh, great. Threes to wound, two wounds. All, all right, right we killed two lose, Brood Brothers. Do lose two. So over here, we got the Eliminators punching out some Abbots. Yep. Threes to hit. Salamanders. Six hits and threes. Mm -hmm. uh, lieutenant and we roll one of those for Salamanders. Remember that I'm toughest five. five. Oh, uh, one save. Okay. okay. Good. He's good. good. You should have popped five when you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident in that decision. Okay. All right, so let me just check something here. So if it ends right now. So I'd only still have the one behind enemy lines, but I would have get two recon points. So I don't think I'm going to spend those last three command points. I think I'm just going to let Nick take a morale check on that. Yep. So this guy there. doesn't He's care. And then these incursors, they don't care either. They're good too. All, All right. right. I love it. Uh, I don't owe you any morale so checks. John got hold kill bonus again. Yep. Hold kill bonus. And I should get um, two recon points and one behind enemy lines. All right. Easy enough. Yep. Unfortunately, I, I need to be a little farther forward. So now I got to start laying down the pain train. Mm-hmm. So who got your uh, plus one to hit this turn? Scorpius. Scorpius. Again, I'm utterly shocked. So, All right. Fortunately, like Nick sarcasm. doesn't have any command points. That is true. Which does benefit me a little bit. Don't have command points. I move my sense here. It's uh, it's not a far charge. Just mm -hmm. a five because I have the chaplain. Then maybe I can consolidate and punch this patriarch out. Mm, maybe. That'd be what I want to do. Or I'm more conservative with the sense and just let them be the scary thing but they are they are pretty scary you gotta watch out for them um all right so what do you think about the game so far nick is this going about how you figured it's going a little worse i'm i've spent cp like a dingus earlier and that's mm -hmm. really what's causing me a lot of troubles right now um okay. i would have liked to kill one more ridge runner by this point yeah uh mostly just your six of female pains put a wrench in that mm -hmm. plan yeah but, i did uh, i did have a pretty good spike with them at one point uh twice but uh, uh, aside from that yeah, it was twice, but um, <laughs> aside from that, everything else is pretty much going accordingly. Everyone else is picking up on the Nyx all right? Yeah. Right, well, that's make sure. that's part of the charm. It's part of the experience, really. That's why else do you even come to the Art of War streams? Oh, this is the only reason I watch. Um, time to get Ajax involved. Oh, there's plus one wound. Take like two more saves. Uh, when you charge. Oh, never mind. Don't take two more saves. Okay, I agree. Okay. So let's get him all involved right, so I here. Think, I think Nick is pretty confident that the Aberrants are now going to die. Pretty sure. I don't want them to fight when they die and kill the Eliminators. The eliminators. So they're going to back up a tad. Uh-huh. Uh, all right, we've got a Lieutenant, we've got Adrex, we've got all kinds of uh, nasty guys over here. Uh, they're going to annihilate this Acolyte squad. Well, that's actually true, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. John has killed one unit. He's going to kill two when they die. Yep. That uh, Patriarch's just going to do that, so mm -hmm. I had to kill three. Is one of them wounded? No, you just killed the one guy outright. Okay. Um... Mark is very in the way, as always. And we're going to try to kill this Primus, which might put a wrench into John's hold more fiasco plan. So let's move these scouts out. Mm -hmm. yep. Fortunately, um, Nick doesn't have any command points left, so these scouts might be able to kill my Primus. He's certainly got some buffs nearby to make it annoying. But it's also possible I survive. It this. is possible he survives, especially with that cover save. So that's annoying. Yep. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out soon. I, I imagine the Primus might be... Uh, might be gone for this world, but we'll see if I, I'll have done enough damage. Um, this intercessor, he's probably just gonna chill. Mm -hmm. Not doing anything, he's holding the objective. He's 
in cover, and he gets the fire's bolter twice. Heck yeah, he does. If he holds still, yeah. These incursors, I'm probably going to walk forward. Try to punch some guys. Try how to many, punch uh, some guys. How many incursors are left there? Is it four or five? It's five. Five. So still a healthy number of incursors. I got to watch out for that. Yeah, not the healthiest, but healthy enough. No, not bad, though. Really not, not bad. bad. Sons are just chilling. Mm -hmm. Let's keep him on the sixth of the chaplain for reasons. Nice. Uh, All right, so Nick still has enough left that I'm uh, definitely still going to be taking some pain for us this game. This Scorpius has really been doing a number on me. Unfortunately, I just don't think I ever had a good option for taking it out. Actually, we can just shoot these labyrinths to the end. Yeah, you can. I'm just going to flame them to death. Okay, that's, that's easy a, enough. That's a thing you can do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy can just chill there. Mm -hmm. like that's. I love it. So you have no one that ignores Overwatch, right? Just Mass Hypnosis? Mass Hypnosis would be my only way to ignore it. Okay. So I might be able to shut off. I feel so. That would be annoying, but I'm going to move the Librarian up so he can try to get into deny range for Mass Hypnosis. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Uh, so let's do some psychics. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's start with minus one to hit onto the Centurions, which fails. Ooh, and we'll do no plus one toughness onto, uh, the Centurions as well, which passes. Okay. So does that take on toughness six? Toughness six. Uh, that's really nice because, uh, my Patriarchs are strength six. That's the plan. And that's yep. probably my best tool for uh, taking them out. Yep. Although it does give you more chances to reroll into sixes. So oh, there's yeah. a dangerous side to that coin. Dangerous but game. we're going to play it. Yeah. We'll see how many, uh, good drivers you can kill here. That'll be the big part. I mean, right okay. Um, let's start here with Centurions. We're going to do all the flamers into Aberrant, so only two. Uh, we will do... There's eight acolytes? There's ten acolytes. I think there's ten left. Uh, I killed four. And there's eight left. There's eight left, okay. So we'll do... See if uh, Nick's willing to uh, shoot less of them again. Uh, I don't care if they live. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I'm trying to maximize death here. Yeah, of course. I wish I could do 18 and 18. That's what I oh. want to do here. Um, Nick wishes Storm Bolters were more broken. Hurricane Bolters. <laughs> oh yeah, Hurricane Bolters. So let's do, they're going to die, that's one. I'm going to die there, that's, you got two kills. I need to get kill more here because I'm falling behind primary. So one, uh, two is easy. Uh, I don't think I need to put three into one squad of eight guys. So uh, I will do two into the Brood Brothers here and one into the Acolytes there. All right, nice. And we already so two into the Brood Brothers, yep. one into Acolytes? Yep. All right. Oh, yeah, and he's got Tactical Doctrine, and they still ignore cover. Here is the Brood Brothers. Reroll ones. Really nice. Uh, sorry, two in the Brood So this is the Acolytes, then. Mm -hmm. And I'll reroll one of my twos here. Um, and then threes to wounds. All right, this could be it. I'll use one of my rerolls here. will be nine six-ups. All right. got to make two of them. No, make none. So the all the Acolytes are, are down. Every Acolyte is off the table. Uh, can you hand me six dice, John? Yeah, of course. Thank you. And this is two into the Brood Brothers there. Reroll ones. I've already used my reroll of Salamanders. Mm -hmm. But he's still probably going to have enough here. That's the goal. Yep. And then threes. Reroll ones for that Lieutenant. Nice. A lot of ones. That's okay. a good thing he's got that Lieutenant. Lieutenants are really good at Salamanders. Yeah, being point. able to reroll ones to hit and one of your twos and then ones to wound right, and one of your misses. So it's basically like having a chapter master for both. It's Ten almost guys here. I don't think that was enough. Though. Not enough they are for done. So that's killed two units right there. Let's do two flamers into the Sabrin squad. All right. Uh, nine, 12, 13 saves. Or th sorry, 13 hits. Okay. Like, what? <laughs> Already? Uh, Force to wound and reroll ones is going to be this many. Minus ones. Uh, oh, this will probably do it right here. Uh, winning on fives? No. Oh. Just try it again. Uh, plus one to one with flamers. I'm playing sound. Oh, you're in tactical dark. Uh -huh. All right, look at that. Nick accidentally <laughs> got the rules right. <laughs> That's the spirit. All right. Oh, needs to feel the pains. Uh, uh, was oh, too dead. Not enough. <laughs> Two dead is enough because there was only two left. Right, so that's kill three units with one volley of shooting. So that is hold kill more even if these guys go down. Mm -hmm. So then let's just do pretty brutal right ten there. sniper scouts into the Primus. Oh no, this guy's got it. Give me some dice. We got nothing but faith in this. Oh, I would like this guy to be dead. Reroll ones. That was a great volley of hits. That was really good. Ooh, nine hits for Nick. Nine that's real good. Three to wounds. Reroll ones. Ooh, brutal. All right, so two mortals mm -hmm. and then eight armor saves. All right, so I've just got a four up here, so I'm going to have to make a lot of these. Two more? That's going to kill him. It is not. He's five on oh, character. he's five on character. That's right. 
He's alive. Very annoying. All it's right. a really good thing those limiters uh, fell back this time. <laughs> so thanks so much again for Moose Nugget for donating another 1,000 bits Woo! to your generosity. Go, it's very Moose much Nugget. appreciated. Um, Moose Nugget is ready. He's Let's do, so this is one with three wounds, one with all wounds, and a three man. That's correct. We're going to shoot the three man. I've already secured Killmore. I just want maximum ridge runner death with the Scorpius. Heck yeah, let's see it. Maximum ridge runner death is five hits. Or five shots. Hitting on twos, five hits. Wounding on threes. Salamander is four wounds. Four saves. Uh oh. Four six ups. Uh, nope, and fail eight ball. damage. Let's get a dead guy here. I don't think so. Got oh, a dead guy there. Does he explode? He does, does. He does. So, so another. So I'd take one. All right. Uh oh. And we'll shoot him again. Same squad. We got six shots this time. Okay. It'll be twos, re roll ones, and then threes, re roll ones, and salamander, six wounds. Six hits, six wounds. That's pretty good for Nick. Um, All right, we made one, one of them. So. Eight on the so first one. the first one. guy will take eight. Got to make two of these to stop it from bleeding over. He right? makes two. And two more. Kills that guy. All right. Does, does he, he blow? Blow? He does no. not. All right. So we now have three, one. Three solo Ridge Runners left. Solo <laughs> Ridge Runners. That's okay. They're down to three. It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, it means I can split my fire very well. That's what that means. Let's do some cursor shooting. Uh, With 24 inches, they got anyone? One, one guy's got range to this All guy. right. Let's, let's do it. It's... He rolls ones. Ooh, he's gonna. He no, didn't do anything. Not quite. He got close though. And we got this, uh, this Space champion. Marine man. He's gonna shoot this squad of Brood Brothers. Okay. Uh, salamanders. It's two, two hits. Good. And reroll for Salamanders is one AP two. All right. So one guy does. One guy's just gonna fight it. All right. Okay. So I think now is that time of day where we go to the charge phase. All right. Who wants to party? Uh, you've no six inch interventions, right? I do not. Okay. Only three so inch interventions. Let's go for these brood brothers here. Okay. Seven inches because my plus two. Nice. This is just the incursors? This is just the incursors. All right. So he should be able to beat them up here. That's the goal. So he's going to go right here. Mm -hmm. No overwatch. Those are already in combat. Here. Are you here. just trying to stay three inches away from the... Uh... Staying 3.1 from the Patriarch, and we're going to try to pile in in such a way where I get my obsec onto that objective to steal it from me. Ooh, that would be interesting. So, this guy might have to go over here. That's totally fine. So, I'll use the sergeant to make this charge so I can attack. So mm -hmm. do that. Okay. So, one dude. All right. Is gonna... anyone else charging? Uh, nope. All right. Because I am going to heroically intervene with the Brood Brothers. Remember when I asked if you have six I told you, you asked me if I had six, I said no, I have three. I feel like we have an article on our website about playing by intent. I feel this like would I fall specifically into told the you category the of letting me know what's going on here. I twice told you it. You just didn't though. So, it's fine, it's fine. Use your cheeky rules all so you want. So the question is how many I get times to be salty about this one. Am I obligated to remind him? When it's relevant would be the uh, right time. I don't think I can base anyone on this side. We're just going to make these guys closer to try to hinder his movement a little bit. I don't know if it'll uh, if it'll work all the way, but we're we're just basing him to make it a little more annoying for Nick. Um, Did you do anything relevant here? No, but this squad. Um, not within three. No, they're not. So I don't think anyone else. So John to used do it. cheeky rules. Yeah. Tried to pull a fast one. Didn't even. Tried work. to tell Nick my rules. How many times? All right. So we'll swing the one. Oh, we'll compile in. We'll do this correctly. Three distance away. Got like plenty of room to consolidate. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, we'll swing with our one friend. Nope. Do, 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 do. Salamanders. Will be two hits only. Nice. And two wounds on your brood brothers. All right, we'll take them. Uh, do two dead boats. brood brothers. All right. And we're going to consolidate. But up. Nice. All right, and then you've got uh, two intercessors there. And then we got two intercessors over here. Punching the brood brothers again. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And reroll one of those. It's four hits. Nice. And reroll one of those. Salamanders is three. Three wolves. saves. Very good. Do fail all three. We're fail losing three. losing Brood Brothers here. Not quite the whole unit. No, there's two left. Which is good. I want to have that squad alive for my behind enemy lines. Yeah, I wanted to kill it for the sake of killing it. Okay. All right, well, uh, I'm going to swing that Patriarch then. He's going to just hit those two intercessors. Yep. So we'll hit him on twos and we'll wound him on threes. And we can reroll all of this. So they're, they're going to die at AP4. Yep. All right. Love the rending, the monstrous rending claws on that big guy. 
So that's gonna be it. Um, I'll fight with these um, three brothers. Well, they're engaged. Yeah. All right. All right. Two brood brothers doing their bops. Doing Beeps the bops. In the bops. Four attacks. Ooh, two hits. Need fives here. One armor save. One armor save is good. Yay. Really All, All right. right. So Nick's gonna get a cheeky hold more. So I got kill more and hold more this turn. Yep. Hold kill. Hold more. Kill more. Max big game. Probably three reapers. Hmm? Maybe max reaper. Uh, yeah, you might have maxed it. We got 20 wounds and aberrants. We got 20 dead brood brothers. That's mm -hmm. 40. You we got, got uh, 24 60, dead acolytes. 64 from acolytes plus some characters. Did you do a head hunter? We're no? like no, uh, I didn't pick head hunter. So we're we're probably like mid. Mm -hmm. We're like low 70s, I think. Yeah, but, that sounds about right. So um, so now I got to look at my secondaries here. How is my um reaper looking right now? Reapers at two. Okay. Probably barely at two. I'm guessing. Yeah. That's all right. I think I'm hopefully going to be able to put a little bit of pain down this turn. Yeah. Part of my plan here was to move block this Patriarch quite a bit. This is a super scary mm -hmm. one. It this, sure is. This one's... Uh, let me do my litanies. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm going to go for... I'll just do the Heroic Intervention one this time for Salamanders. So nice. everything nearby gets Heroic Intervention. That's cool. And we will do... Plus one to hit still on Scorpius, okay. which passes. Very good. All right, so now I've got this Patriarch who's kind of free to go do what he wants, which is really nice because he might be able to just go take out these Eliminators or uh, do something to the Sniper Scouts. I've got some, I've kind of got some options, but I still have my three command points left. It's very useful. Mm -hmm. I got to go make some plays here. How many wounds is a... Okay. Four. Four. He's, just, he's just a normal one. Just a cheapo librarian. Just a cheapo librarian. He can't pass his powers, but he's going to die Mass Hypnosis and win the game. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Mass hypnosis <laughs> might be channel up. my inner Siegler Farsight commander, <laughs> dude. Hey, I got what? it might happen. Magnus is casting powers, casual deny. <laughs> all right, so Nick's trying to make me salty before it happens, but we all know it's not going to work. I'm just rubbing it in now. We're going to advance this uh, patriarch. We do. I have dropped Ooh. one dice, Mr. Raspberry. There's no all reason right. to bring it up. So the patriarch's <laughs> only going 10 inches, unfortunately. Huh? The bet itself is that I have to... No, sorry, not I have to. The loser of the dice bet. There's still plenty of turns. There's like three oh, yeah. turns left plenty in this game. Um, loser of the dice bet has to... Um, wear an oven mint on their dominant hand mm -hmm. the next time we play a stream match. Yep. So that'd be really bad for me to lose because next time I'm playing a stream match, I believe is against Mr. Siegs, and I already have to call him the Lord of Mars. So oh my wearing an oven mint and calling him Lord of the Mars, it's a double win. I don't, I mean, I don't need that both. in my life. I really don't. Now we have a real oven mitt. There's no sock gloves in here. Get out of here. We'll advance that abominant. Oh, we'll I'll be it. back. You guys talk. John, talk more. All right. So we're just advancing this patriarch here. He's going to have a lot of choices on what he's going to hit because he's got. He can advance and charge naturally. And we're also going to advance the abominant. The abominant's actually a pretty cheeky combat character. He can go knock out something and maybe tag someone as well. I'm at three. Cool. Um. We're actually going to keep him a little further back now that I think about it, because he needs to choose between the Centurions and this guy. If I pass Mass Hypnosis, he'll go for the Centurions. If I fail it, he might just go come collect this Librarian's head real quick. Alrighty. So let's see how we want to do this. So I just need to keep this Magus within 18 inches of that. Yep, he's within 18 inches of Centurions. Magus is ready to go. To 20. Secondaries are actually more or less tied. John has one more to. Oh, no, we're, they're tied. We're seven to seven there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. John does have three reapers. I count on him. He's over six. Cool. Love it. All right. So then, um, so many choices yeah, here. One one prime. This is really annoying. I know, isn't it? He's just going to stay in this quarter for recon. So let's see. We'll make sure those guys can be all in that quarter. These guys are gonna tug over, tug over, so I can make sure I've got two, two. The premise can be on that side. Um, we're actually gonna advance this Brood Brother squad forward now that I think about it. So they're gonna go nine inches. We're just gonna go forward to get more protection from the characters. I'm hoping that Nick's weight of shots is gonna go down a lot this turn. Because one way or another, I am planning on those, uh, those very silly Centurions. I'm planning on them not being there anymore. No. Oh, yeah. They wanna be there. I don't want them to be there, though. No problem, Nick. They want to be there. Mm. Not a fan. We've got um, got some last cannons. We've got we have some multiple options here to take care of these centurions. It's, it's really just last cannons and uh, yellow patriarch. <laughs> yeah, I can yellow patriarch. He's, he's down for that. All right, that distinct crinkle, and we're gonna go ahead and advance this abominant. 
So, oh, he's only going um, 11 inches. So that's kind of what disappointing. A slow. All right. <laughs> so I just have to pass my good old psychic stimulus and we'll be ready to go. He's ready to go nowhere. No, he's going somewhere, certainly. Going nowhere. Definitely going somewhere. All right, so I think we're um, uh, we're good to start the psychic phase on that one. Excellent. So um, let's go ahead and cast... Uh, we'll start with the big stuff because Nick only has one deny. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with um, Mass Hypnosis targeting the um, sense, and I'm plus two to cast. We're going to pass on an 11. Well, that sucks. Um, I'm not going to try to roll box cars. I'm going to be sad about it. Hopefully you right. just roll lower on Might We're going to cast Psychic Stimulus. We'll save Might from Beyond for last. Stimulus so fail it. I'm actually going to Command Point that because right. I want the Abomination to come Down off someone. Two. So this is the reroll. So I'll pass it on an eight. Yep. And then I'll see if I keep that Command Point. I don't. Down to two. All right, so I haven't cast Might from Beyond yet. Down to two. So you're, you're going to let that go? Did you, did you cast that it? That was Psychic Stimulus. I just passed I'm going to let, right. let that go. I'm going to let that go. So finally, we will pop the um, familiar for my from beyond here. Yep. Pass it on in a 10. Uh, 10? Oh, we're going to try. No. Nope. All right. Shit. So that is going on. We this... did a channel Siegler's. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That big patriarch right there. All right. And then um, we're just going to do some second powers. So no Siegler. Right. let's. Um... <laughs> All right. So this guy right here is just going to go ahead and cast smite. Sure. Uh, which will pass on an eight. Yeah. And that should just kill an incursor. Yep, we're just going to whittle those guys down. And then um, this guy right here, he could smite this Librarian. Um, or I could get really cheeky and do a Mental Onslaught just to see if I can uh, take uh, take out someone else. I think we'll go ahead and uh, cast Mental Onslaught because I like that power more. It's going to pass it on a 9. All right. Um, let's Leadership on an, these guys, like eight, on the 8. eight. All right, so we're just going to target the Sergeant. Okay. All right. All right, I win. Takes a wound. And takes, takes the wound. wound. You're gonna lose the sergeant. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you gotta ask. All right. So at the very least, I'm uh, thinning down the number of snipers here, best way I could. I could have gone for a character with their higher leadership, so I didn't really want to mess with that. All right. And then um, that'll do it for the psychic phase. So shooting phase, you don't have any stratagems left. So that Alphys is um. Oh. Shoot. Oh. Forgot to cast plus one to wound. Cast plus one. I, I smited. Yeah, cast, I should have done. Cast plus one on side. All right. So put in cursor back. Plus one to wound on the sense. That's called gentleman sportsmanship, yep. John. Nick's a nice guy right not, there. Not not a gotcha, by oh the way. You, I told yeah, you. Like, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You still. What turn, happened? Turn one. You actually said you finished your your shooting phase before you even oh did your psychic goodness. phase. Pretty sure Look that's. Look at this guy over here. Look at this guy. Oh, we got Nurgle Matt donating even more oh subs. We're at one forty nine in one what day. A guy. Thank you so much, Nurgle Matt. Whew. All right, so I think I'm actually. Let's just measure what this charge is here. Um, it's like what a five four inch you or am are, i less than you six less than six so i need to roll a five yeah so i'm pretty confident that the patriarch could go clean him up but he does have a feel no pain on a six up so i don't really want to mess with it we're gonna go ahead and uh, just shoot this one guy he's gonna do his laz there and his uh stubbers there okay so i am gonna try to actually we'll do the alphas first with his rifle okay um who are you marking uh he's marking the sense, marking the sense. and he Alphys misses on one okay so we'll do a laz into that guy yep one shot it's one eh? Hey, he's oh, good. He it. All right, and we'll do the stubbers into those incursors. Yep. All right, just one. This one is good on the three. All right, we'll do the next one. Laz on the guy. Yep. Just three shots. Let's get him out oh, of here. Boy. Two, two hits. hits. Two and two more armors. Not today. Oh, yesterday. He's yes, down today. to one. See, this is why I roll these things. I forgot it's a um, auto kill. Might actually command point that because I really don't want to put more shots into that I guy. I think we should. I really think we should put another D3 Laz cans uh, into him. Yeah, and stubbers into them. Yep. Uh, uh, three. Three. And uh, got a wound. wound. And then um, we'll do the last one. We'll just go ahead and um, we'll actually shoot all these las guns into that guy first. Oh, a waste of time here. So just ten las guns. What? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Remember, I killed some out of one of the units. Oh yeah, you killed one. Okay. I'll kill one of them. Pretty sure I killed two, but that's okay. I thought it was on a different unit. It doesn't matter. Uh, just take four armor saves. He loves it. No ones. Oh my no goodness, ones. this guy. All right. I really feel like I should come from that. We'll go ahead and put the... um. We're just going to put everything into that one guy. I really just want to try to cement my lead Love here. Muffins. Thank you so much for two months of subscription. Your support means so two much shots. to us. One hit. One more save on that guy. Oh, no, he's oh, out. He's done. He's the hero out. of the Imperium. You really tried there. Eight, three D three last right, and one more save. One intercessor. 
Yeah, well, he made yeah. all his saves. He did. He did. All right, so we knocked that guy out. Really appreciate so you, Mark. So. Yeah, well, you know. That's all right. We've got the patriarch there to clean, that, clean things up. Yeah, yeah. So shooting, uh, that'll be the end of it. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do charges. Uh, we'll start with the exciting and fun stuff. Yep. Which is this guy um, is going to declare charges on the sense... Just, right. just the sense. Just the sense. Uh, we'll declare this librarian as well. All right, librarian's got a storm bolt there. You're gonna fire that. Uh, Reroll for salamanders. Two hits. Yeah, it's, a, it's a bold guy. Not bad. One, one so far, and just one. Wound. Does make it. Uh, it's AP one. You're an assault doctor. It's turn three. It's turn, it's turn, it's turn four. four. So let's hit this charge. Just need to roll a five. I got way more Overwatch here. And we'll do it. Wait, 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 you know I finished killing you. With what? The Centurions? The Massive Gnosis Centurions? The Massive Gnosis okay. Centurions. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're talking about the same ones here. Yeah, exactly. All right, so he'll go right there. All right. <laughs> and then um, we'll charge the Abominant into this librarian. All right, we're going to do it again. Storm yep, Stormbolter. Oh, my Real goodness. Ones, or one of my twos. Ooh, what fires? This librarian's strong. One wound and Salamanders is one. Yeah, he does make it. Okay. Um, five, five inches, I think, is going to make it because he's plus one to charge. Okay, I so think that'll do six it. inches. Yeah, in, yeah. We'll just connect me right there. We'll just base him in case Nick is doing something funky I can't think of. I like doing funky. And then um, we're going to charge a whole bunch of stuff into these guys. So we're going to just start with this uh, 10 man brew brother. Okay, so you got three dudes you can see you. Actually, yeah, we'll just start with them. All right. And one salamander is one hit. Mm -hmm. And one armor system. Okay. Did you fail it? Uh, the I get exploding shots when I hit, right? No, no. It's close combat. That's what I said. Okay. Um, they're going seven inches. So now my kind of question here is, am I gonna leave enough of Nick's army alive that I should try to, um, that I should really be trying to screen him out? I don't think I am. I agree. Because I think, <laughs> like, I, just screening is shooting. Like, I don't think I'm gonna leave enough that he can wipe them all out casually. It'll right, be so pretty he, casual. Um, no, I don't think it will be. It'll be casual. I don't think it will be. All right, so then we'll go ahead and just um, charge that uh, patriarch in. It's going healthy 11 inches. I'd rather kill them than leave them alive at this point. It's kind of my thought process here. Oh, I'm supposed to go with Magus. And then I think that'll, uh, that'll do it for me. So we're going to start off with Big Papa Patriarch here. This we're gonna one right see. Here? No, no, no. <laughs> but, I mean, you don't have enough command points to interrupt, but we're still gonna do this one. All right, so they all hit. Oh, that minus one to hit would have saved me here, old four two. He hits on ones because he's plus one to hit. Can you just let me no, have I some cannot. level of happiness in my life? All right, so we're gonna reroll the ones and twos. Even though twos wound, it's after my modifier, so we're gonna get to reroll them. So, so well, the order mattered here, unfortunately. Okay, so we're so gonna determine the order of this one, one through six, yep. to see which one to six is. Yep. So, it was so the very it's the first, first one. So, so that one guy is taking AP minus six, six. and taking four, four, damage. four damage. He died. All right, and then you owe me five at minus three. Five minus threes, of which I fail four. So okay. You can do two at a time, or one at a time, right? Or two at a time. One at a time. First guy takes four damage. The plus one damage on this guy? I thought it was that guy. Oh, you're right, you're right, 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 right. So he just takes three. And then he takes three more. All right, so three more. All right, so two on the next guy. He'll take four. Let me survive? think about this. Yep, he's got four wounds, six of female pain. I'm actually going to command point this one. Yep. So the reroll, he's taking six damage. Oh and then God. if I keep it, I don't. So I just really want the Centurion to no. die there. So that's okay. Centurions be dead. Okay. I haven't kept any of these, unfortunately. And then um, we're going to swing the Abominant into this Librarian. Uh, oh, only gets one hit. Uh, one is going to cut right through. It's a four. Okay. And then, locked four wounds. So we're just gonna pop them. Yep. Oh, okay. Alrighty. How oh, did I make any six up feel my pains? That's yeah. not something I do. No, it's not. It really isn't. Um, he's just gonna consolidate into cover. He's gonna. How in the world was that closer? That's closer. All right, fine. Okay. He's not gonna get into cover, so he's just gonna get closer. Be annoying. Make you think about it. Okay. And just in case he loves. And then I think um. We'll do the Patriarch first. Mm -hmm. So he's seven attacks, hitting on twos, wounding on uh, threes, mm -hmm. re-rolling these. So two of them are going to die, and then four minus three. Uh, three go through. All right, so there are D3 plus one, so yep. it should just wipe. That's dead. All right, so we'll just consolidate like that. And then closest things over there, so we're just going to tag. 
little closer that way. Try to get out of that line of fire. All right. So then, end of the um, end of my turn there. I should get um, two recon points and two behind, two behind enemy lines, which I think will max me on both. What's the third unit back here? One, two, three. Just okay. Two. So John killed the sense, the one intercessor, and the librarian, and the incursors for four units. Yep. I have to kill four units to kill the same. Mm -hmm. And um. um should be dealable. There's one, two, three solo ridge runners and one, one primus. Yeah, should I, th I, th I think Nick can probably get uh, kill more here. I'm just trying to pin him back enough. Can someone I'll... pull up Adrix, Adrix's gun for me? It's a pistol flamer. Mm. I don't know what it actually does though. Yeah, that's why I asked someone to pull it up for me. Okay. Uh, does that max my secondaries, guys? Mm -hmm. uh, one... I just got ten wounds off the sense, four wounds off the Libby, ten wounds off of this squad. And one wound there, so that's 12, 22, 26 wounds dealt this turn. How do I kill this abominant? <laughs> yeah, he's actually the he's actually kind of a problem, which is amusing. Amusing is not the word I'd amusing use. Amusing is the word I'm gonna use. I would like to know my stats. Um alright, alright, you can just, I don't know what's loading, you're, you're not talking over there. Check me to pull it up here. We should get any minute now. I don't have much turn left. I need to hold an objective. You don't have to. Uh, I will move one scout. Two mm -hmm. scout. Yep, so here. two scouts will move. Two scouts will Just move. Just a little bit of heavy penalty. It's probably still enough to finish off this Primus though. Yeah. That's okay. Should be. Um, okay. I'm just really hoping that I can at least hold more than Nick for yeah, a couple fortunately more Fortunately, I can't really progress without knowing the stats of that gun, because I need to figure out how to optimize my firepower here. Mm-hmm. I guess the chaplain can go out here and... Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Ten All right. Back. For your benefit, Nick, mm -hmm. his gun is Assault D6, Strength 4, AP 1, Damage 1. 12-inch range. So it's, a, it's an AP 1 flamer. Okay. But it's 12 inches. Strength 4? Strength is 4. Camera on seeks. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's do some... I don't have psychic. Let's do some shooting. Okay. Uh, we're going to try to get cheeky here. And we'll do... One eliminator there. He's in direct shot. One eliminator here is in direct shot. Alright. So out there. It's... This is indirect? This is direct. This is one direct. minus two. Okay. Don't you do it? Nope. No, he's, Takes he's done. He's, yep. he's one one. And this ab abominant hits and strength five. Strength five, stuff five. Salamanders? No. Nope. Okay. So, well, that's a kill. We'll do all these sniper scouts straight into this abominant. Alrighty. I'm, so, I'm feeling good about this abominant. I think he's going to totally take this like an absolute champion. Eight didn't move. We're going to reroll ones, reroll one of our twos. Okay. And then two that did move. Both hit. Nice. Good start for Nick. Um, five no. stone. Yep. Three roll on ones. And we roll on that's cocked. Three roll on those. Will be two mortals and three saves. All right. So we'll take my three saves first. Yep. Just five up armors. I do take two of them, and so. then I'm taking four damage total between the two mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take all four. He's a one wound goon. All right. That's uh, not good. Primaris lieutenant with his bolt rifle. Oh, you wouldn't dare. Three roll ones. Is through hits. And two wounds, AP minus one. Oh, goodness. Six ups. Take one. And. Or oh, oh, makes the feel no pain. Bolt pistol backwards at him. Uh, these guys are way closer. Good point. Bolt pistol forwards at those. Sure. Uh, hits, hits for the thing and wounds. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Uh, no, you're good. Yeah. Uh, pistols and assault doctrine. Sure. Ha. Got me. Right. Adrax is flamer backwards. Okay. Four hits. All right, now it's just fives. Uh, rear one of those, Master Arsons. Two wounds, AP minus one. All right. Both. Both. Don't give me double fives here. Double, double fives. fives. Oh my goodness, this look at him go. Look at this jerk. magnificent man. All right, well, let's go Ridge Runner hunting. Okay. Um, Got a Scorpius? I think the Scorpius should out. shoot that abominant. The three minutes. We'll unlock it. We'll shoot a full one here. Okay. So you can leave it at one wound left. Yep. So five hits or five shots. Hitting right. on two still. Five wounds. Right. I'm waiting for Nick to fail his plus one to hit a uh, canical here, but I have a reroll and reroll one of those. It's gonna be five minus twos. Nice. All right. So we'll just take five saves. 
Do you fail eight. once or fail four? So yep. eight damage. Come on. Uh, oh, we got him! All eight fails every feel no pain, but he doesn't explode. Oh, all so right. unfortunate. Let's go. So I've killed two units so far. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Let's knock out this three wounder. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Uh oh. There's twos. Your ones. And then threes. Your ones. Was a wound. Five wounds. Five? All right, we gotta make some here. Make two. Six feel of pains. If you make four of these, John, I'm punching you in the face. Yeah, I didn't. All, all right. right. All right. He doesn't blow. All so right. Let's kill low three on units so far. Very sad. Very sad. Let's do some charging. Adriax is going into the Patriarch. Okay. It's 10 inches. Yep. Uh, looks good to me. Um, scouts are going into the Abominant. Hmm. Makes it on a three. Makes it on a three. Yep. It was 3.1 from you. Yep. I was trying to so it makes sense to me. All right, he's bringing up these scouts. I'm going to have to deal with them somehow. That's the plan. We'll find a way. Yeah, we'll keep one six of Ajax. Yeah, we'll keep one six of Lieutenant. And Chaplain's going to go into these two guardsmen. Okay. Makes it on a four. Before we do anything crazy, a Bithroic intervention. Do you want to base anyone? Do you want to do anything? I don't want to catch you off guard here, Nick. No, well, thank you. I'm going to base this guy. I don't sure. trust him. All right. All right. I'll base this guy. I don't trust him. I'll base everybody. Okay. Well, All right. he's not based. I couldn't. Uh, I don't want to. Okay. He wants to go wherever he wants to go. It's fine by me. That's totally fine. You don't have interrupt. You have one CP. I have so one CP. I'm not let's interrupting. Let's do the scouts first. Okay. So I got 10, 21 attacks. 5, 10, 15, 16, 21. All right. Can he do it? Adrax is giving Zero him plus one to ones, wound here, which will really one help. One of my twos. <sighs> And then fours to one because that beautiful mm -hmm. plus one. Rerolling ones and rerolling one of my misses. Seven. Okay. This and many? we are in assault auction, so it's AP1. Oh, one. that's bad. All right. Got and enough four Please there. don't you do it, John. He tried really, really hard. Really hard. Hey, he's still and he's out. All right. All right. So he got out my abominant. So unfortunate. So then they'll consolidate. Do, 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 do. All right, so that will probably give Nick his kill more. Mm. Oh, that was four units. This will be I five killed. and six. You yeah. killed four. So Adrax, I think he's got five attacks to pull the stats again. He's five base, six with shock assault. Six with shock assault. Three roll ones and on one threes. of my twos okay. will be six for six hits. All right, wounding on twos. Choose to wound will be one reroll, six wounds. Right. I think sixes might do more. I don't they even don't. know. Okay. Uh, he took 16, 16 damage. Yep, he is gone. Get out of here. And we'll just consolidate. Mm -hmm. And then the chaplain punching some guardsmen. Uh, salamanders. And then uh, reroll one of those. Will be three minus twos. Red. Three minus two on, on like one guardsman. Oh. And not yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So that's going to be it for me. Uh, I got kill hold, John got kill more, and I got, sorry, I got kill more, John got hold more. That's right. Um, I definitely maxed Reaper, that was in contention, mm -hmm. and now I'm just playing for ground control. So uh, what are we looking at as far as um, score goes right now? Uh, well, you've maxed your secondaries, and I obviously have O for ground control, but you're up 29 to 19. Okay. But you, and you have eight I, secondaries? I have eight out of my 12. All right, so, and this is my turn five, right? Mm -hmm. So I just really need to try to get another turn it to a shenanigans here. So let me just measure some stuff. Make sure, yeah, I'm 13 away from that objective, so I advance on it, but we're just gonna move up. Just make sure. Wow. Strain six on the chaplain. Who knew? He killed more guardsmen. Good thing oh. there was only one left. Good for him. So can I actually just shoot at Adrax? Yeah. That Ridge Runner? Yeah. Can I shoot the scouts? I can't shoot the scouts. So I'd have to move to shoot those scouts, which I might actually do. I think we are going to take advantage of that. I don't really want to shoot at Adrax. Touch that. That's not objective. Make my life miserable. Move that guy up. That girl up as well. All right. So my plan here, I just, I really just want to get a kill and try to get that bonus again this turn. So we're going to advance this clam of this. Um, only going to go 10 inches, which is still going to put me on the objective. Oh, let's go for a plus two charge. Let's go for, I don't even know, reroll hits. Pass. That's nice. Um, okay. All right, so now I can kill this chaplain, I think, with just smites and stuff. Now the question is, do I want to just sacrifice my patriarch 
to go get some scouts as well, just to thin down the amount of damage Nick can put into me. That's really my question here. Um, but Nick doesn't have a ton of sniping left if I can take them out. So let's go ahead and uh, advance to this patriarch. Um, so he's going to go just 12 inches. He's going to have to go around them a little bit, so he's going to end up right about there. Let me just see what that charge would be before I... So it would actually be a 7-inch charge at the command point. I don't actually like that enough. Yeah, you would. No, I'm going to be I'm gonna be a little cowardly. We're just going to really try to kill this one chaplain. Mm-hmm. So let's spin. He's got 12 inches of movement. He's just going to spin around here to get line of sight. My has killed seven runners. Yeah, no, the Scorpius has <laughs> just done all the work Non-stop. <laughs> right. Ridge Runner's OP, death by Scorpius. Yeah, we're just putting him in line of sight. Okay. Okay, and then we're just going to move all of these Brood Brothers up. Actually, you don't have any direct line of sight shooting at this point. Uh, scouts? I got those two. I got his flamer thing. For, I got his uh, bolt rifle. I got his bolt pistol. I got crack grenades. I got frag grenades. What else do you need me to say, John? We're just going to move up so we can rapid fire these guys. There's like 30 guns I just listed. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm not too worried about it. You wouldn't be worried about it. I wouldn't be. Why would I be? I don't know. I don't know. Probably because you a scrub. Yeah, that must be it. Scrubbity bucket. So how many are each of those Brood Brothers squads? Um, it's currently nine and seven, I think. All right. Eight. Nine and eight. Nine, eight. Yeah, I don't know how you killed Random, uh, intercessor. Oh, yeah, it was just random intercessor guy. That's it. He didn't have better things to do. Well, that's true. He doesn't. Right, I'm just mm -hmm. going to tow everyone into that cover. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move up as well. He has a jump pack, so I know I'm not wrapping him. You could try. I can. Tr that's true. I can try. Trying to get that Magus. Yep. Kind of so you got well. two line of sight smites. Pretty much. That's what I'm going for here. All right. And these are both moving, not advancing. Uh huh. Just in case I need to do some crazy charges or something. You yeah. never know what might come up. Yep. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the psychic phase. Yep. We'll um cast with this Magus. Uh, we'll actually do the patriarch first. Um, he'll just smite those massive bosses is dead. Pass on an 11. Big smite, yay! Big smite time! Six. Six, he's just dead, that's just dead. awesome! Well, you, you lured my brood brothers cunningly into the open. That's what I planned for. Yep. <laughs> um, Someone pour some Nick salt out! <clears throat> oh, he was gonna die, it's okay. I know, but I, the, the way it happened gets me some salt points. All right, we're gonna mark these scouts with the Alphys and we're gonna just dump the full Ridge Runner into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll do these, um, we'll actually do a, uh, I'm well in 36, Let's just right? shoot guns. All right, we'll do the Alphys. Okay. It's... He hits on twos? Oh, uh, yeah, because it moved. And uh, one... Save. That's right, it moved. So yeah, it... but it's plus one from his own aura. So he's both skill two? two? Yeah. Ah, that's because he's three. One save on your scouts. Ah! He's good. He's good. It's not like he cared about the AP one. We'll shoot all these last guns into him. Probably not that many. Um, nope, this one rock track, so just 11 shots. 10 shots. Mm -hmm. All right, just see if we can get one more scout here. Nope, they don't feel like hitting. <laughs> Definitely not. All right, ah. so now we'll do that full Ridge Runner, <clears throat> and I'm going to save my last command point. As much as I want to do plus one hit and wound, if it was a bigger unit, I'd think about it. Three shots on that last, two hits. Can we evaporate two? Oh. Double ones! Snake Eyes, oh no, my dice are so good, Nick. What are you going to do? Get out of here. Stubbers. Ooh, just two hits. That's how I feel. Two you. saves. Let's see them. Let's oh, see these saves. saves. Ignore AP1. It's AP dash. Good. Pass them both. All right, see, we're good. Nick is good to go. All right, so I'm just going to kill, hold, bonus. Kill, hold, bonus. Killing and holding and bonusing. Mm -hmm. Adrax is on a mission. Yeah, Adrax is on a mission. Adrax is tanking this whole army. It's possible. I'm not saying it's likely, but it's possible. Uh, These sniper scouts legitimately need to move, unfortunately. Aha. Because they need to start attempting a ground control type of play. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. It doesn't make me happy. All right. Uh, That's okay. I'm, I'm glad to see these scouts moving up. I'm, I'm happy for them. We'll get in range for your one. You got that lieutenant. The Scorpius is going to probably kill that last Ridge Runner, which He's makes gonna me try. really sad. I love uh, that Ridge Runner dearly. So what is it? This squad back here is nine, and this squad here is it's seven? It's eight. This eight. is um, nine. Okay, so which are the... There's, there's this one model this is the front. Okay, okay. These are all the back. He's just so that they're fearless from Patriarch. Let's do this. Let's do his movement. Mm -hmm. uh, what am I measuring? 
don't know. It's too late. Matter. I, I just busted out the tape measure. I had no clue what I was doing mm -hmm. with it. It's just, uh, We're gonna knock this guy out of the park. You know right what? There. What if this us lives with one wound? He's just not going killing to. one eliminator. Two direct shots. Deal. Two hits. No. Master artisans. Okay, two master. hits. Three to wound. Two, two wounds. wounds. Minus two. I fail both. Three <laughs> damage. He's got a wound left. All right. Boys and girls. There's Let's a wound do. left. Let's do. So we can got some plans here. <laughs> uh huh. Nick has plans. He, we he got. Insists. Uh. Let's do uh, this. Scorpius at the Ridge Runner thing. Okay. How many shots are we looking at? Seven. Well, that's good, but he's, he only has the one reroll. He doesn't have a captain anymore. Threes. One reroll's all I need. Six hits. Six hits is pretty spicy. Threes, reroll ones. Reroll one of those, and reroll one of those. Time enders. There's so only four. four. All right, so it could be enough. Eight oh, damage. I need to make a feel no pain here, guys. Oh, boy. He didn't. Oh, my does goodness. Does he explode? He does. One does a wound to the this guy. So tragic. Get the last Ridge Runner off my table. If nothing all else, right. I killed the Ridge Runners. You did kill all of the Ridge Runners. Let's do a Scorpius into here. Oh, no. This, uh, squad back there. I don't there. like that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's only going to kill four somehow. Nope. Five that's five hits. All right. And... Two ones. Tenons. Five die. Five die. Ugh. It hurts. So we're going to leave the ones on the objective now that yeah. I think about this logically. You would. It's true. Okay. I, that is a thing I would do. So let's do... Ten sniper scouts into a clamorous. Can they all see him? Because I don't think they can. Nope. Nope. Let's do well. Some most can. All but one can. I'm pretty sure. Nick keeps moving the models until he gets the number he wants. Nine sniper scouts into your thing. Okay. Removed. Real ones. Real one of those. All right. We got five hits. All right. You might be able to get down the clamorous here. And just might. we got the mortal. We got the mortal. So the clamorous is down, and one model went into somewhere else. Uh, one model shot out here. Oh, sure. It's on a five? Three or ones. No. Okay. Uh, so Ajax is going to charge both squads of guards people. All right, let's see it. Nine inches. Nine inches is pretty mighty. Uh, I should remind you now that I can heroically intervene. You should remind me now. That's the <laughs> okay. right time. Thank you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh -huh. Stuff I put up with. So he's gonna go right here and mm -hmm. base this guy as I drop a tape measure. Okay. Hold, touch the objective, tag both, or this is just one squad. Tag one squad. Okay. Okay. Sniper scouts are going into both units. Okay. On an eight. On an eight. All right. So I can't, I can't interrupt, unfortunately. I'm only at one command point, but Nick's gonna try really hard, really hard to get some of these objectives. He's gonna try. Gonna try. It's gonna work. No, I believe in you, Nick. Thanks. Nothing but Appreciate faith. you. Nothing but faith. At least someone believes. At least someone believes. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Uh, right. so. I'll start with the scouts. All right, scouts are going first. Well, I'm gonna heroic first. Oh, Not that it actually matters. It didn't matter at all. We're just gonna. You. I called it. I literally called what? it. John's gonna do a heroic intervention during this game that doesn't matter at all. I literally said it. I'm just basing you so that you move Five, less far six, forward. Five, six, seven, eight scouts punching your guardsmen. Your yep. In assault doctrine. Don't give me this. Okay. Plus sergeant. All right. So this is so this is eight with a sergeant. This eight is with a sergeant. Eighteen effects. Yeah. Reroll Pretty ones. Nice. Reroll one of my twos. All right. Good hits from Nick so far. Oh yeah. It's gonna get a lot done here. Wounding on twos because mm -hmm. I got the Ajax. Oh, give me all those six ups. You know what? That's probably not good. That's probably not good. They it's died. Definitely not look good. at that. They are all gone. Let's do some consolidations. <laughs> all right. Well, that was um. This might be the end of my non-characters if Adrax can take care of business up there. This will be very sad. It means the Scorpius will get a lot done. And Adrax gonna punch some guardsmen in the face. Three to ones. Three to one. My two salamanders. Six hits. Get those guardsmen off my table. All right, all right, all right. All right. And we're going to go towards the Magus. So this is an interesting kind of... Right now, we're holding the same, because mm -hmm. I hold one, John holds one, this one's contested. If I leave this jet to go behind the wall, I'm not doing that. I'm a man. Adrax is a man. Okay. So, so Adrax wants to take smites, is what I'm hearing. Adrax wants to take some smites. This first um, super smite will be six damage. Yeah, I know. It. So I got hold, kill, kill more, hold the same. Okay. I like it. All right, so I think we're, uh, we're good to go, then? Yep. All right, so let's um, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and uh, move that alpha onto the objective for me. Whee! I need to get one more turn of bonus. So um, we held the same, but Nick um, 
Did you kill more? You killed one, two, two three, bridge runners, and the bridge, runners, bridge runner, and the clan. So four. I'm assuming that's more than I got. Yeah. Right. Didn't even have four units left for you to kill. Okay. You actually killed, I killed the chapel. You killed yeah. the chapel. I just didn't remember what my turn looked like. It was very uneventful. All right. So we're gonna stretch this magus out so that it can smite the scouts. So my play here is I'm going to go for killing these scouts over Adrax. I think Lame. we're just going to leave Adrax alone. He can only oh, hold one objective. That's the mistake, John. That's the mistake. Well, what, what's the scoreboard at right now, guys? It, going into six? Would you just relax? It's 32 to 22. In my favor? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Would you relax? All right. So we'll advance this uh, Patriarch, who is not wounded. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to go nine inches. We're going to just need to connect on these scouts. All right. Let's do it. So we're going to cast... From the Magus. Punk Fox understands. There's a certain amount of joy I take from saying Solomon. This is such uh -huh. a fun army it to play. It is fun. It is I fun. love this army. All right, we're going to smite with the uh, Patriarch. I botched my CP. Fails on a five. It? Or passes Pass on, five. on a five. So, three scouts. Three, six of Penal Pains. Oh, Still in six true. slot lieutenant. Two die. Two die, all right. And then um, we'll smite from the Patriarch. Or, sorry, from the Magus, who's actually not, not in range. In so, it's just going to hit so Adrax. Adrax takes three. three. I don't know if he has Final Pain. If he, he did, he really saved matter. one. He takes three. He's got okay. four left. I the think. Alphys is going to shoot these scouts. Okay. And hit on two. Wound on not a one. Not, not a on one. a one. Okay. All right. And then um, we're just going to cast Might from Beyond. Oh, whatever. You mind if I cast Might from Beyond on the Patriarch? I accidentally shot a gun. Yeah. Thanks. Well, Passes I know you wouldn't nine. let me go back in time and do that. Oh, of course. But, but I'm going to let you because I'm a nice guy. And that's, yeah, that's, that's how you know me. Nick's a better man than I am. That's true. He's a better man, just in general. So we're going to charge uh, this Nick, Patriarch. I don't know why you feel you're not worried about oh, the Salamander Mantle. See, see <laughs> what I did there? Because Nick Rose said it. Dark yeah, one, Nick. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Patriarch? What's he doing? Shooting charging Salamanders? Yep. Char is on charging a... Salamanders. Who do you think you are? We'll see if you kill me on Overwatch. Uh, eight shots. That's eight dead Patriarchs. Mm -hmm. Salamander. One, kill those. Two hits. This is four wounds coming in hot. All right. Reroll ones, reroll one of those. What do you, oh yeah, you got those. <gasps> Ooh, uh, one save. One save? Mm hmm. Uh, I do fail it. Only six damage, he takes left. five and dies. Oh my goodness, that would still not kill him. <laughs> All right, so the five inch charge makes it. Mm hmm. And we'll just connect right there. So this puppy is now seven attacks. Yeah. So here we go. All right, and I'm actually going to command point one of these hit rolls. Yeah, my last, last command CP. point, and I'll see if I can keep it. I, I don't. don't. Okay, but I still have seven. Oh no, I have to roll it. So I have seven hits, and I'm wounding him on threes, and I re-roll these wound rolls. He's wounded. Make oh yeah, he's got five. Yeah. All right. So six. You still have a feel no pain, right? Yep. So I'll just. So the first two here's are. Here's the two big ones. They both died. Here's right, the other. The rest ones. are D three plus one. So two are two damage. All right. Here's the twos. I'll just re-roll successes. So here's they're dead, the and then menus. two or four more. Right. Adorable, but no. All right, so we killed six total. Six. So one, there should two, be one three, left. Four, five, six. He should die to morale, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because you lost um lost. nine this turn, and you're not leadership yeah. nine. So, um, which will cement me my kill, but uh, he'll just stick in combat if you can try to punch me out. So John held, so you killed. Don't wanna, you don't want to punch me? No, John held and killed. And oh. bonus. He doesn't control. One, two, three. You don't control. I don't I have to be in scoring range, not controlling it. He doesn't right? have a model on it. Nothing about controlling it. I feel like that's wrong. I think it should be wrong, but it's it just in... Range. We can check it. Later. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Just kill whole bonus. Well, if I yeah, can't win, six. I don't think I can win. I'm at least tabling yeah. John, except for the Nexus. He's too far. But mm -hmm. I'll table everything else. Oh, absolutely. I, I think you will. I think I will have the Nexus left. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Adrax thinks he can tango with the Patriarch, which is a mistake, obviously. No one. Except can. it's not. No, 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 no. This guy's got it. Patriarch will somehow survive this. Pretty confident. Oh, you know what? I probably should hold it. I don't. I'm losing either way. I'm least tabling, John. All right. All right. Let's do two sniper shots at Bike Boy. Oh, he wouldn't dare. These are direct? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Salamanders. Oh, one right. hit. And one wall. Okay. Um, Minus two. Doesn't matter. Takes one. Three left. Okay. All right. The office lives. We will do a Scorpius volley at the Magus. Okay. Eight shots. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> just... Um, salamanders. <laughs> uh, you can please get off my table. <laughs> Thank you. Then at the bike boy. All right, the, the biker shots. girl is uh, minus one to hit. Let's there not is nothing that. female about this model. That not doesn't mean thing. she's not a female. It, it is. Um, 
So let's do some salamanders. All right. Let's do only six hits. Six hits. Okay. 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 And six wounds minus right. two. You know what? I'm gonna take a you, lot of six. You take here. your six ups. You got this. Fire. Uh, only only twelve damage. Wow. Adriac's gonna kill you with his flamer, as one does. Two hits. All right. All right. Adriac's going in hot. Actually, I'm gonna shoot you with his bolt rifle, so I can knock oh you down goodness. a wound bracket. Oh my goodness. Salamander. One hit. Tough hit. One wound. You know, no, AP. AP one. All right. Uh -huh. Damage one. Two. Damage one. What do they think? Four left. Charging. All right, let's go out, Drax. Let's do it, Adrax. Ah. Zero ones. Zero one, my two. Seven. All right. Six oh, hits. Adrax, this hurts. Twos. Oh. Seven. Oh, no. no Only five. five. Only five. five. He died. He, he died. took 20 damage. He did take 20 damage. <laughs> okay. Woo. All right. Oh, that poor patriarch. Okay. All right. No. John has one model left. Well, that doesn't matter, unfortunately. Good game, Nick. Good game. Good game. All right. Whew. All right. Let's do some stuffs. All right. Let's do the thing. Mark, can you set this a gimbal? All right. Uh, I think Nick's going to get Killmore that turn, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got Killmore, Hold More, Max Ground Control, Max, yeah, max uh, Headhunter, Max Big Game Hunter, mm -hmm. and you're dead. So I won. Uh, I think the score was 42 to 0, and that's a yes. great victory for Unfortunately, the Unfortunately, I forfeited by accident at the end, which cost me my 11-point lead. You know what, John? I didn't. I, I understand your intent to forfeit, yeah. and I'm going to let you play by intent, and you can forfeit. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Nick. That's good. All right. Kill more. He gets kill more. Uh, we hold the same. Yeah. He gets one ground control. I could have just. I chose. To, I know. I, I literally. <laughs> I know. Give me hold more and ground control one more. Right, give, I, that was a give, give, him, give me. Give him two ground controls and hold more. Yeah. I was right. literally just walking. So, uh, just, just Scorpius that guy. Now. So what was the final score? It was close. <laughs> a game, John. I'm pretty sure I lost it when I spent my CP all incorrectly. There were two things I did. I transhumaned mm -hmm. my sense, which yeah, maybe was... could have mattered, but it just didn't. I didn't um, roll too much, so it didn't. Pay. Hurt I, I've used it before, and every time I've used it, I've been burned by transhuman. Yeah, so I should know better. Is, I don't think you ever do it. Yeah, I tricked myself because I was like, I already mm -hmm. got refunded on self sacrifice, but it wasn't worth it. Then fight when I die was a big mistake too. It didn't pan out, of course, but like even if it had panned out, it just wasn't worth it. Mm -hmm. You mean um, to fight twice? On fight the twice, fight twice. So those are two mistakes, and those mm -hmm. CP would have made quite a difference in the second half of the game because I could use strats like Overwatch in a group, which is a Salamander stratagem, which mm -hmm. would be. Yeah, on the John, Centurions, that's really centurions, terrifying yeah. when I don't pass Mass Hypnosis. Or even the Scorpius? Not really, yeah. but like, it, it could like the kill. Centurions would be the worst. The Centurions are the big one. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, those are the mistakes. And oh, John, Salamanders are still people. so cool. I know. They got really a lot like of them. cool synergies. They're an yeah. army that like, a lot of small stuff. And my inexperience is what cost me this game, not like the army's failure points. So, mm -hmm. you got to really see it. The plus one to wound strats, the sniping capabilities, yeah. the Centurions doing just... And self sacrifice to stay yeah. alive versus bridge That's runners. Scorpius. I, I think the Salamander Scorpius is the best Scorpius, 100%. I think so too. Yeah. Uh, being able to plus one to wound that thing, plus one to mm -hmm. hit it, Master Artisans, and Andrew yeah, it's, it's, really it's just, strong. it's so consistent. Yep. Um, oh, that guy was, oh, he was, pain. I think, did he kill eight of the nine ridge He killed runners, eight out of nine ridge runners and then or, four yeah. characters or something. Yeah, he yeah. he did a ton of work. That Scorpius, so, Woo! I think, hurt. I thought Gene Circle were dead though. Um, They're pretty bad. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. This is what y'all know, but this is the first time on stream at Forces of the Hive Mind I've won a game. Who else would it be? I know. This wasn't this, this no, no, no. This was not Forces of the Hive Mind. Oh. This was pure Gene Stealer Cult. <laughs> they are they are different factions. <laughs> okay. This is a Tyranid Cursed okay. House. This is not okay. a Gene Stealer Cult Cursed House. That's perfectly all right. fair. All right. All right. So that got to be a pocket game then, obviously. Now Ziegler won that. No, we were all true. tables. <laughs> you started <laughs> attacking him. <laughs> yeah. So um no, anyways, guys. Are I think Plus, Aberrants are still mandatory. I think we showed off two armies that were yeah. very underutilized right now. Mm -hmm. Salamanders, no one knows what they do. Gene Circle, everyone forgot what they do. Yeah. And uh, they're still able to fight, you know? Ridge yeah. Runners, you can talk about the Ridge Runners. But Salamanders are cool. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I think Ridge Runners are still very good. Um, they're just not that, they're not like amazing shooting, but they're very efficient for their points. And it just takes a while to deal with them. It's very hard to just knock out my shooting. Mm -hmm. They're just so durable for their points that you just have to put concentrated effort in. And it gives the Gene Circle army something it doesn't normally have. Uh, with that said, I also think you still actually take Aberrants in a Gene Circle list. Um, I do too. I've been, uh, you know, when, when they went up 60 points per unit, um, everyone kind of abandoned them for a good reason, honestly. You know, that's a really hard punch to take, but I just think that they fill a role for Gene Circle that you otherwise do you're not have. You're too glass cannon without them. Yeah, you're just too much of a glass can without them, and too many things can hit back in combat. And even then, you saw how much damage Nick's army did to those aberrants. Like, it still hurt to get in combat, 
But if those were acolytes, I would have lost them in my own turn. Mm -hmm. You know, those scout scouts and intercessors would actually pick my unit up right by themselves. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this match. We're doing another one just like it on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. That'll be Mr. Siegs trying out the brand new Admex stuff versus mm -hmm. Mark Perry trying out the brand new Chaos Demon stuff. Should be a really good match. Battle of the new factions update things. Um, and again, we just want to thank you for all your love and support, especially Nurgle Matt and Moose Nugget and all the other guys who just Absolutely. donated to our channel. And let us keep doing this for you. Let us increase that production quality. Get that cool mic in there, which we still have to learn how to use. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.